Sunday fun day, the first Sunday fun day of 2021. I know Kumatron's ready. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. It's gonna be an awesome one. We got so many games to play today. We're a little behind on the Amiga Game 2020 retrospective, but we're totally gonna catch up today. It's gonna be awesome. Fred say the Lemon Amiga, what is up? Stuart Johnson, 610. Happy Sunday fun day to you. Nekopedia, what is up? Milo loves chocolate. Checking in from the Amigaville VIP lounge, along with Cracktus One from the Dark Horse Observatory. Welcome, guys. Happy New Year to you, Chris. Stuart Johnson, 610, my man. Oram, time for the stream. Oh, yeah, Oram. Checking in from that VIP lounge. Raveman, phase 101, what is up? SR Baker, brewing up, cooking up some sausages, cooking up a new year, baby. Let's go, SR Baker. Commodore 128, what is up? Great to see you. Gabora, what's up, Gabora? Mr. Cola, my main man, Mr. Cola. Hope all is well. All Access Cola. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> You're the best, Mr. Cola. Air Yuri also, he's the best too. Air Yuri with the resub. Air Yuri, thank you so much for your support and thank you for thank you for keeping the hot tub hot, baby. Look at that. Look at that guy. That's Air Yuri right there. I love that guy. Ha <laughs> ha, he's the best. Oh man, Air Yuri, you rock. Alan San 09. What's up, Alan San 09? Balto. Yo, 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 yo. 48k RAM. Mr. Scott Banco. Agreed, agreed. Agreed. HM Kaiser, what is up? Iraq, what's up, Iraq? Great to see you, buddy. Nekopedia is psyched for the Amiga. Love it. Nagram, happy new year to you, Nagram. Jost80, you rock, dude. Jost80, great to see you. Texas Foosballer, hope you're enjoying your Amiga Addict magazine. Oh, yeah. Oh, you. Pred Sadis already got a new game announcement. I want to hear it. That is awesome. Retro Box Room, happy new year to you. MVG. My main man, yo, MVG, seriously, I was looking at some, like, long-term subscribers. MVG, you're, you're my longest one. You're the OG, MVG. Freaking, you're the best, dude. Thank you so much for the resub. We're gonna get started here, because I can hear the music winding down. I'll catch up when I come onto the screen. Now, if you think about 2020 and you know me, you know what demo I'm about to play. And you know you need to turn that volume control all the way to the freaking right. Let's go. Amiga. Rude. 
yeah, what is up everyone? Happy Sunday fun day to you. Bring it in the new year proper. Didn't get the chance to dress to impress with, with wife device on New Year's Eve, our proper Great Gatsby party. So I put the I put the three piece on for you all today. What is up everyone? Black tie and English stream, you know it. Um wow, I got it, you know, the the bad thing is I, my headphones my headphones don't my headphones don't fit with this hat on, so I can't even like monitor the audio properly. Yeah, that was way too rude by Logicoma and Looney's freaking Hoffman. Definitely my favorite demo of 2020. It's not even technically a demo, it's a 64k intro, but it's fine, it's a demo. My <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you everyone. It, it, it was how awesome was that sync? And it's an Amiga like OCS demo. Incredible. Incredible. I love it. Um, you know, the Hoffman stream, definitely one of my favorites of uh, of the year. That was that was a great one. There are so many great ones, I can't even I can't even say. But let me just catch up on all the activity that's happening here. Again, you know, modern vintage gamer, dude, you're I, I was looking because I'm doing some upgrades for 2021. I want to like really thank everyone so much for their support. And like when I download my subscriber list, you're at the top, baby. You're at the top. Like it, how many months is it? It's crazy. 37 months. That is amazing, MVG. Thank you so much. And of course, Air Yuri, my one and only mascot. Thank you for keeping it hot in the hot tub. Um, Farscape55. Thank you for the follow. Torque Live. Thank you so much for the raid, Torque Live. That is super, super awesome of you. Thank you, Torque Live. I'll shout you out in a second. I don't know if Brother Bill's here to help me out here. Um, Amiga Love. My man just subscribed. Amiga Love, dude. Amiga Love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a brief news section today because we got so many games to play. But you're, you're front and center on my news section, dude. Um, thank, thank you, Amiga Live. 3D Code Warrior, another subscriber. 3D Code Warrior, you're amazing. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, incredible. Uh, Brian's Retro Corner, thank you for gifting the sub. That, that's, you guys, your support's amazing. Thank you all so much. Let me catch up on all and everything that's going on here. I'm so fired up. Right now, we're listening to Every Way by Hoffman. I mean, there's no better way to bring in the New Year with some Hoffman, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is so weird. It's so weird, like, wearing my headphones like this, but I can't hear anything right. I should've, I should've went with the, uh, with some earbuds. Um, let me, let me, yo, Pick a King Dom Wars, what is up? Uh, SW3 Po, what's going on? Retro box room, you got, um, your missus got you a CD32 and Terrible Fire 330 for Christmas? Oh, dude, that is freaking awesome. Mixels Lab, what's up, Mixels? Mixels, you're doing some sweet stuff over there on the Twitter, I love it. Um, Razor XG, a very good evening to you. MVG, you are number one. You're number one. Number one, MVG. Um, yeah, Rave Man Phase 101, it's got, it's got a soul for sure. Uh, I agree, I totally agree. Um, pick a king, pick a king. You wish there was a really cool Commodore 8 bit stream. Oh, check out the Hazemaker 64. That's, he's great. Um, also, I'll, I think I'll, next week I might do some Commodore 64 because I want to play Sarah's new Shoot 'em Up. Oh, um, man. You're going to be lurking, updating your Mr. Mr. Cola? Oh, all good, dude. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Lurk away, my man. Toby1976, greetings from Germany to Amiga Bell. Awesome, dude. Greetings from New York. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Nekopedia, loving the Amiga, I love it. Pixels at Dawn Gaming with the Silly Billy. Amiga Cami, Amiga Cami coming in from the future. It's a pleasure to have you, Amiga Cami. Fred Zade is loving the Hoffman. Mr. Cola, oh yeah, you rock, dude. Delamort78, what is up? Amiga does rule, I totally, totally agree. Pick a King, when you get better, you gotta stream Commodore? Dude, I love it, I love it. Improve the skills, stream the Commodore. You don't, dude, you can get better. The best way to get better is by streaming. So, you know, don't, don't hold back, just go for it. Um, Delamort78, what is up? Chest X Barry PL. Arnuge, my man. What's going on, Arnuge? Yeah, Amiga Love, you rock, dude. Human Interact, what is up, Human Interact? Again, uh, Torque Life, thank you so much for that raid. You're, you're amazing, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Jawolf, what is up, Jawolf? Krivy, what's up, Krivy? Menalokov, what is up? Uh, and then Spawn4EG. Thank you, thank you guys for coming from uh, the Torque Live raid. Uh, Gorkus, thank you so much for coming from from the raid. I appreciate your raid very much, Torque Live. That is just that is just awesome. Um, Hondos, what is up? Welcome, 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 Raiders. Appreciate you all so much. That was such a it was a great demo, right? It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, Tesseractus is checking in from from the Torque Live raid. Yo, Torque Live, you got some awesome awesome peeps, man. Awesome, they are representing you well, dude. Thank you all for the uh, for for joining me today. Spinto77, yes, it's a very well spent 64k. I agree. D Frizzell, what is up? Pick it, uh, Pixels at Dawn Gaming, my man. 
48k RAM. What's up, dude? Yeah, definitely a black tie stream. Yo, 48k RAM. I can't wait to get my um my Atari 400 uh, cooking too. Can't wait. Um, thanks, Arnoush. I appreciate that. It's a great one, right? Texas Foosballer. It's an incredible demo, Human Rack. 64 kilobytes. That's insane, right? 3D Code Warrior, again, thank you so much for the resub. Amiga Forever. Oh, dude, 3D Code Warrior, your support is amazing, dude. I still want you to send me your address so I can send you some stickers, dude, because you gifted out, like, so many subs. It's crazy. Um, thank you, SW3PO. Thank you. <laughs> Amiga Love. Amiga Love. No, Amiga Love, you just, you're always dressed to impress, my man, just by showing up. Jowl, awesome demo regardless of the K or the lesson intro. Agreed, agreed. Brian, Brian's Retro Corner, thank you so much for gifting the sub. I appreciate that so much. You gifted a sub to the Amiga Love. I love it. I love it. Corb, what's up, Corb? Great to see you. You're the you're the you're the man, Nickopedia. <laughs> the fashion icon, right on Oram. Oh, cheers from Istanbul. Oh no way, dude. That is awesome. I don't know if I've ever had anyone watch from Istanbul. That is freaking cool. Maya82, looking good. Hello, chat. Thank you, Maya82. You're the best. Uh, everyone's the best. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. It's a pleasure to have you here. Brian's Retro Corner, you're happy to see you all here. Yeah, no, it's the best. The outfit's ace, Quahas. Thank you, Quahas. Squeaky35, a good day to you. A pleasure to have you all here. The Jolly Jones, welcome back. Yo, Jolly Jones, I really enjoyed checking out your stream. That was That was a great one. Julie Jones, thank you uh, for your stream. Can't wait to see more of your streams. Thank you for coming back. Amiga Chip, what is up, Amiga Chip? Great to see you. So be. You remember Voxel that? Trots, I would love to have Sarah on the stream. I'm gonna reach out to her. You know, not everyone wants to be on camera. You know what I mean? So I totally understand that. I'm not saying she doesn't, um, but I would love to have her on the stream. And I mean, her her games are awesome, and I can't wait to to get the new one. Mister's the Shizzle, you know what me loves chocolate. Um, Squeaky, uh, Squeaky, you're from Massachusetts. I was in Massachusetts like last week, dude. I love Massachusetts. I was up there for the blizzard. 48k RAM, you're you're excited to keep going. You're sorry, 8-bit system, 8-bit streams too. Nice 48k RAM. 48k RAM, when you stream, you gotta let me know. Uh, Alpine 9000, what is up, buddy? Great to see you. 48k RAM, I got the the brewing the brewing factory, I think it's called. The brewing, oh, brewing academy. I got there. Um, their whole their whole deal for the Atari 400, so I can get some S video out of that bad boy. The RF RF don't cut it. Quahouse, you're waiting for your warp. Was supposed to be ready by Christmas, but you're still a sad panda. Quahouse, I they have my 060. I sent my 060 to those guys, so it, they're taking care of it. They're gonna put it in the board. I can't wait. Yo MVG, thank you so much for gifting the subscribe five subs to my community mvg the og mvg og mvg og mvg number one my man thank you so much dude you're you're absolutely incredible um wait what'd you do you you gifted M modern vintage gamers gifts shared rewards to 25 others in chat i don't even know what that means but it sounds incredible mvg you're the best thank you so much mvg i hope you had a great new year give my best to sav and your family uh Top quality people right there, let me tell you. Yeah. Texas Foosballer enjoyed the magazine. Nice, nice. Yeah, exactly. This is Pixels at Dawn Gaming. This is the last this is the last party of the break before back to work tomorrow. Exactly, exactly, Pixels at Dawn. Yeah, I'm going to uh you're gonna buy a ticket on Thursday, so the el the elderly you got you got tell me who these elderly combis are, pick pick King Dom Wars. I wanna I wanna meet these elderly combis. <laughs> I wanna go to Amiga Ireland too. 48k RAM, 400 bits for the Atari 400, nice dude. Thank you, 48k RAM. Pixels Hooter, what's up? Sorry, Pixel Shooter. <laughs> Lorna Megabry, what is up? Great to have you here. Slack Gaming, greetings. Dude, M OG MVG is on fire. You rock, MVG. Chardonnay, chest Chardonnay. Jinkulia Barzo, Ale Wadna. <laughs> Thanks, in a pro arcade. You know, like I was saying, I normally, um, I normally go to a Great Gatsby vintage party. Um, for for uh, New Year's, and I couldn't do it this year for obvious reasons. And uh, so this is why I, I, this is my three piece, man. I wear the three piece. You can see it down here. I wear the three piece 
Um, this is a, actually a vintage suit from 19, it's either 43 or 47, I'm not sure. But it's an actual like vintage suit and uh, we go to this vintage party um, and it's so much, it's so awesome. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't wear it, you know, so I figured what better excuse to wear it than the first stream of 2021, you know, can't wear it to the Gatsby party, but I'll wear it to the stream. Um, Amiga Love is asking if I have any video projects laid for 2021, hoping Sammy Hallaby as well, love that video. Amiga Love, you know, I gotta get motivated. Um, I do, I, I'm over modulating, like, am I, I'm over modulating way too much. It's just, it, I have a lot of projects planned for, for Guru Meditation YouTube channel. Um, I've got three in the works right now. I actually wrote the script for the first one and I, I really, I'm gonna do more videos. I, I, you know, it's just definitely, it's hard doing the streams every week and a video really hard so I think I have to give myself some realistic goals like maybe I'm gonna say dude if I could do like one video a month that would be a little bit aggressive I'm gonna try to do one video a month I'm gonna try but I really want to do like more like videos that play to like my skills like where I'm not in them as much but it's easier to do videos like in my office you know what I mean but we'll see I, I do have some really cool, cool ones um, planned Amiga Love the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video about this Go X drive that I have right here because I'm sick of having it outside of my Amiga 1200 and the reason why I haven't put it inside the 1200 yet is because I want to make a video about it so that's like motivating me to do it <laughs> um, so I have yes and I do I want to make a follow-up to Samia Halby I've got some really really cool ones like in the queue that I want to make I just need to need to do it you know what I mean I need to just do it <laughs> oh man thank Amiga chip love the new Amiga Act magazine it was good to see me at 4 20 p.m. today I'm gonna raffle off another um, digital copy of Amiga Addict Magazine for 4 20 p.m. today according and and uh, VHS cam is the official timekeeper of uh, of the Amiga Bill stream so 4 20 according to G, um, the VHS cam we will I'm sorry yo Fred data I need that's another thing I need to work on is I need to improve my uh, my commands we're listening to like Hoffman I should have uh, I should have changed that for the before the stream I'm sorry this is called Ghost in the Clyde by Hoffman you can see it down there in the hippo player Um, Human Interact, we should do a drawing to see when the next Amiga in-person event can safely happen. Yeah, right? I, I, I hope it can happen soon, Amiga Interact. I hope. Yo, um, Palinurk, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. All right, we got to get started, man. We got so much to do today. L let me check my notes. Um, I, I need to, there's so much to do. There's so, so many things to do today. Um, so I did, like I was saying, I did do some some upgrades. I'm gonna show you guys some of the upgrades that I did. Yo, Sin Lao. Sin Lao, thank you so much for the resub. He says, thanks to Snow Dog for my gift sub. Sub anniversary, three months, gift sub. Yo, Sin Lao, thank you so much for all your support. Sin Lao, also an all-star in my Discord channel. You never have to buy a new game for like your modern computer ever because Sin Lao, like, he posts all these free games, like legal free games, all the time in my Discord. I, I haven't bought a game in like, a year and a half, thanks to Sin Lao. You rock, Sin Lao, thank you. So what we're gonna do today is, I'm just gonna give you guys like just a quick update on a few improvements I've made. I'm gonna make more improvements too. Um, and then we're gonna, we got three quick pieces of news, three really quick pieces of news. And Amiga Love is, is the sponsor. <laughs> this, news, this news is gonna be sponsored by AmigaLove.com because he's the best. What's up, 17-Bit Retro? Um, and then we're gonna, we have, let me count the number of games I have to play today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games, 10 minutes each, 14 games, it's gonna, it's gonna, yo, I hope you all just, like, you gotta strap in and get ready to go, because this is gonna be, this is gonna be epic, even, even wife device, she's like, I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> she's smart, she knows what's up, <laughs> um, so I guess first, I just wanna go over just a, a few quick things that, uh, I'm, like, improved, because, you know, I, I really, like, appreciate, um, all of your support uh, very very much um, so I'm trying to make some like new some new perks for people who, who like back me on patreon uh, and subscribe too let me let me let me pull it up uh, I'll go through this, this fairly quick I just want to make sure that you all um, I just want to show my appreciation for you all you know I really really appreciate it um, desktop full screen uh, here oh I turned off VHS cam there he is he's back so um, I added some perks here Just because, you know, like when, if you guys give me money, like I want you guys to have value for your money. Like a lot of value besides just the streams and the videos. Um, so check this out. Your name in the credits of my stream and YouTube videos. I'm going to show you the credit roll in a few minutes. 
but I made this rad credit roll. Um, so I, I added your name goes in the credits. I also um, I also include Discord benefits now. So like if you're uh, if you're a patron or a subscriber, check it out. You're here up now. You see? See here we go. Look, we got some VIPs in the house. Milo's online. Snow Dog's online. We got some all access patrons online. We got Mr. Cola, Sigurborn, and Wrestlers online. Here's the, the Twitch subscribers. So I'm working on this right now. It's just this here is just like a, a like it's a little way to say thank you. Yo, Fluid Twitch, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream. So um, and then if you're like a if you're a higher level like VIP, you can you can do uh, everyone in my Discord. So let's say you're going live with your stream or you like posted a YouTube video, you can you can ping everyone and only you guys can do that. Only the um, the VIPs can do that. So I'm just trying. To, I hate this paywall stuff. To be honest, I hate this paywall stuff. I just want everyone. I just want to share my stuff with everyone. <laughs> But, you know, I talked to some bigger YouTubers, and they're like, dude, you gotta do the paywall. Like, it's just, you gotta do it. I'm like, all right. Um, uh, and of course, I also give out, even though, like, the WOG newsletter is free, I, of course, everyone's welcome to get the WOG newsletter. I just make it nice and easy for y'all. I, I deliver it to you. I can deliver it to you in your inbox. Um, look for uh, a Patreon post coming up soon um, with the, every WOG newsletter from 2020 in it. Um, again, it's free to everyone, but I just make it easy. Easy access for all the patrons. Um... And of course, the VIPs, VIPs get, <laughs> they, uh, not, oh yeah, you guys, of course, you still get the, I hope you guys are enjoying the wallpaper. If you have any suggestions for wallpaper, let me know. Everyone gets a wallpaper, you know, all the, all access get wallpaper every month. Amiga wallpaper and background wallpaper for your PC. Um, and then the VIPs, uh, they get to, uh, everyone's invited to the walk meetings, but I make sure you're invited. <laughs> uh, then you also get, uh, physical prints of my photography. I think everyone except for... Practice one and Sans, you know, one have got there so far. But if you got your print, please definitely make sure you let me know. Uh, you also get a Namiga Bell VIP card, which grants you access to the VIP lounge. Um, and I, like I said before, you have the ability to mention everyone on Discord uh, server. I'm just trying to think of stuff to, I'm just trying to think of stuff to, uh, just to say thanks. You know, trying to think of ever, just trying to say uh, thanks. Yo, captains on the bridge, this time without Amiga Sons. No worries, Captain John. Thank you for being here, Captain. You, you rock, dude. You absolutely rock. Um, so anyway, here's some perks. I, I, I want to make it valuable for you all to like subscribe on Twitch and to be a patron. I'm going to drop this into the chat. You can just do exclamation mark Patreon. I'm just trying to think of ways to make it make it good for you. So And then I got a couple of new VIPs. I got uh, Snow Dog, who's one of my original followers. Snow Dog, now a VIP. And Tech Girl um, from Amiga Underground BBS. We're going to do something with her soon, too. I can't wait. I think maybe next stream. We'll see. Um, so... I, I haven't fully upgraded the VIP lounge yet, but I did. I did upgrade the VIP lounge a little bit. I enhanced the lighting a little bit, and I added Snow Dog and Tech Girl into it. So, um, and it, some some new folks are gonna be riding in the car as well. Right now, it's still Maya, but we're gonna check it out, everyone. We're gonna head to the club right now. Auf geht's zur Party im Club Amiga Bill. Show your Amiga Bill VIP card to Brother Bill at the door, Maya82. Welcome to Club Amiga Bill. Step right up and have your IDs ready. Snow Dog, Tech Girl, Maya82, Sanzian01, Dark Horse Observatory, Milo Loves Chocolate, MonsterJoysticks.com, C64 Television, O ROM. Retrobench.com, Seth Lemon Amiga, and S R Baker. Oh yeah, we got we got moving lights, we got blinking lights in the VIP club now. I love it, and welcome to the club there, Snow Dog and Tech Girl, looking good, looking good in Club Amiga Bill. <laughs> oh man, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you for your support. But like I said, the most important thing I always say is that everyone just comes here and supports me you can watch you can lurk you can do whatever you want i just thank everyone for being here that's all i want to do is like hang out with my friends so thank you for coming here and hanging out on sundays and thank you all for coming and hanging out on uh watching my youtube videos as well i appreciate y'all very very much yeah my 82 is psyched because look tech girl tech girl and my 82 are hanging out together my my 82 says all she needs now is some legs so she can dance <laughs> You didn't get yours. You didn't get your print yet, SR Baker. It's really frustrating. Um, the postal service is, is having a is having a hard time. Thanks, Stuart Johnson six one zero. You love the animation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your support. Um, check, so check it out. I'm also gonna roll credits at the end of every stream. Um, here's the credit roll. 
Yeah, it's cool, right? Don't worry, the stream's not over yet. But when uh, when Ariuri's in the hot tub, I'm uh, I'm gonna roll these credits as well. And uh, next week, I'll make sure to get the uh, the Twitch subscribers in here too. Right now, it's just patrons. But thank you all so much. I I'm loving I'm loving the, the the credit roll. I'm pretty psyched. Actually, I'm gonna try something at the end of the stream today where that will include the uh, Twitch subs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm also I'm also gonna I'm also gonna make sure dance cam is featured. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to put I'm gonna be able to put dance cam up uh, on, in the lounge so I can actually dance on the dance floor. It'd be cool. Yeah, Captain John, of course. That toaster artwork that Amiga Sun made is definitely there, of course. Let me know, SR Baker, and if you need me to send another one, I will. Yeah, Lemon Amiga is sitting next to the ladies. <laughs> Sep, Sep, Sep is next up for the in the car as well. Yo, Qua House, thank you so much for the resub. Qua House, dude, Qua House's new game, um, Verge World Icarus Rising, is one of one of the games I really can't wait for. Speaking of games, like we gotta get to the games. How long have I been streaming? I, what, VHS Cam, where are you? Uh, according to VHS Cam, it's 2:30 p.m. All right, not too bad. It's time to start some Amiga news. Let me pull up the Discord channel here. Um, let me. That's cool, I got this stream clips thing now. What's up, Bobby Zeal? Quiles, thank you so much for the resub. Everyone who subscribes here um, gets the Amiga Bill goodie bag as well as the patrons. And the Amiga Bill goodie bag, I hope you all enjoying it because like, it's. I think the goodie bag is pretty pretty awesome. <laughs> I, got, I put a lot of work into that goodie bag, man. So I hope I hope you all are enjoying it. And, and whenever someone says, hey, thanks for the goodie bag, I really enjoyed it, it means a lot to me, man, because I, I do try hard. I, I want to give you guys value. I want to give you guys value, you know? Um, so what are we doing now? I got I got to focus here. Um, oh yeah, Amiga news. Negapedia, I ship this symbol. Absolutely, I ship all. I ship worldwide, dude. Worldwide. Captain John, you love the new Patreon tier editions. Nice, Captain. I'm gonna add some uh, some new ones too, but I'm just trying to make sure. I gotta take it one step at a time. Yo. Sip Matador, thank you so much for the follow, Sip Matador. Welcome to the stream. We're we're gonna play a ton of games today. It's gonna be nuts. We'll see if I can get to all 14. I'm, I'm, no, I'm getting to all 14, no matter what. Captain John says, uh, goodie bags are really great. They're much appreciated. Um, Sip of Matador says, I subscribe immediately. I'm a French viewer, and I say it loud and clear. Amiga power. Oh, yeah. Nice. I love it. Fred Seda, you love the goodie bags? Thank you, Fred Seda. Thank you, Fred Seda. I love LemonAmiga.com. Exclamation mark Lemon. In the chat. Get your fresh squeezed Amiga goodness at LemonAmiga.com. Stuart, you love the goodie bags? You rock, Stuart. Retro Lars, goodie bags are great value. First time I got it after I switched on my email alerts on Twitch. That's hilarious. Retro Lars, if you need some back issues, let me know. Thank you, Jowl. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the goodie bags. Thank you. It's really nice to hear. Um, all right, dude, it's time for some Amiga news. Sponsored by uh, AmigaLove.com. Amiga news. Like I said, this this uh, this episode of the news is sponsored by AmigaLove.com. Where is he? Where is he? Whoa! That's another upgrade I forgot to tell you about. I now have Patreon alerts besides um, Twitch subscriber alerts and Twitch follow alerts. I now have Patreon. Yo, Patrick, dude. Dude, Patrick's a VIP. Holy crap. Patrick, welcome to the club, baby. Woo! Patrick, I, they're so funny because sometimes Patreon uses your real name. So, I, Patrick, I don't know your handle, but holy crap, dude. Thank you so much, Patrick. I'm going to be sending you stuff. Patrick, we'll talk. Thank you for your support. Holy cow, dude. Patrick, thank you so much. Jiro, my main man, what is up? Brian's Retro Corner, you like it? Nice. Awesome. Hold on. I got to get back to, let's get back to Amiga Love here for one second. This is one of my favorite moments of 2020, by the way. Oh, hey, baby. Let's sit down to the computer lab for a little AmigaLove.com. Oh, yeah. AmigaLove.com. AmigaLove is the man with the most. There he is. He's there. He's there. So I was, uh, I was hanging out on Twitter. I saw AmigaLove just pimped out his monster joystick, by the way, too. Wait, what, can I find? I don't know if I can find that. It might be hard to find on the fly. But Amiga Love, uh, AmigaLove.com, he's the man. And check, let me hit him up. Let's find the first piece of Amiga news here. Um, 
Where is he? Where's that Amiga Love? Via AmigaLove.com, a new shareable image of the NTSC version of Pinball Dreams is now available. I'll make some noise for that. This is awesome. So, so basically, um, Pinball Dreams is now available for us NTSC Amigans like like me here in the USA. So, you want to play Pinball Dreams on your Amiga 1000? I know, I know, Amiga Love is a, is is the he's the man when it comes to Amiga 1000. Like he is like he's the I think he's got Amiga 1000 parts in his body. I, I think this this guy is made of Amiga 1000 parts. <laughs> he's amazing. Here's this great this great uh, article about this. This new version of Pinball Dreams that you can install, uh, that you can play on your uh, on your NTSC Amiga 1000. Freaking so, a lot of folks are like, "Yo, I already have Pinball Dreams in NTSC and WHD Load." It's like, well, how do you use WHD Load on your 1000? I want to pop in that Kickstart disc and pop in the floppy and play some Pinball Dreams on my 1000. You know what I mean? Here's the link. Amiga Love link. Amiga Love link. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, he does have, dude, Oram, Amiga, Amiga Love is made of Amiga parts. Nothing beats the Kiki Wipes, thanks, Fox Will Drop. Better than adult movies, hilarious. Um, what I miss, what I miss. Um, Andy Beast in UK, what is up, buddy? Great to see you. Lurking, mo no worries, Texas Foosballer. I'm happy you're here. Lurk away, buddy, lurk away. Oh, that's you. Um, oh, so, um,. How on earth is Patrick? Dude, holy cow, dude. Thank you so much for your support. That is that is absolutely unbelievable, man. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Amiga Love says it's now available for OS 1.3 folks uh, using uh, JST, which was 2.0 plus only before. Oh, no way. So you need, you need to kickstart 2.0 before, and now you can use uh, 1.3. That is awesome, Amiga Love. Uh, Pinball Dreams was made in Smallland, Sweden, as I understood it. Oh, very cool, SR Baker. Locust just assembled uh, the CD32 Monster Joyce that can play some Banshee AGA on my mister. Pop the cherry, love it, Locust. That is awesome, dude. Oh, yeah, we're rocking the Hoffman today, Andy Beast and UK. Let's see what Amiga Love's got going on here. Look at him. Look at, look at Amiga Love going crazy here. I see, I see that 1.3. I see that 1.3. Wait for it. Oh, dude, dude, look at that. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. I love his LED, his blue LED backlight there. Nice moves, Amiga Love. Looking looking sharp in your in, in the Amiga Love Lounge. <laughs> look at that. It's back. Pinball Dreams running on an NTSC Amiga 1000. Beautiful. Beautiful. First dive is First, DICE gave us Pinball Dreams, Pinball Fantasies, Pinball Illusions, and then the Battlefield series. You know it, Akmafin. What's up, Steps? Great to see you. Oh, you moved You moved on the 30th, Andy Beeston? Good luck, man. Good luck with your move, Andy. I know you can't wait to uh, to play some Amiga tunes. Milo says, only Amiga 1-3 makes it possible. Playa Veli, my main man, Playa. What is up, buddy? It's great to have you here, play. I hope all's well. The sensible world of soccer. The what? The Amiga 1000 is to Amiga Love. What sensible world of soccer is to play a Veli. Like these guys just like embody these things, man. They just have it running through their veins. They got it in their DNA. Play has got the, the swaths in his DNA. Amiga Love has got the 1000 in his DNA. <laughs> That is freaking awesome. Amiga love you rock, dude. So I dropped the link into the chat. So freaking cool. Um, what else we got in Amiga news? Um, via Indie Retro News, it wouldn't be an Amiga Bill stream without a visit to old Indie Retro News. Inca Man, a brand new Amiga game from Amiton Team is coming soon. Johnny working behind the scenes here, bringing out a new game. Uh, you think Amiga developers would take a bit of time off from creating games? Nope, not Johnny. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh, per Ola has recently given us the nudge that a brand new Amiga game is being developed called Inca Man. This game is in development by Amiton Team. It's an upcoming arcade platformer which is due to be released at some point this year. Let's just take a quick look here. I'm just going to skip to the gameplay. Oh, it looks sick. It looks sick. 
Ugg George, only Amiga Love for 2021. Ugg George, you rock, dude. That looks cool. It's a proper Amiga game. It's got diamonds in it. Yo, 2021 is going to be a banner year for Amiga games. I'm so pumped. Inca Man. Coming in 2021 to an Amiga near you from Amiton. Nice. Nice moves, guys. Nice moves. There's the, the article. I need Retro News article for y'all. Pick a King Dom Wars. Oh, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a um. Dude, there's so many games that I'm playing on this end of year marathon. I'm gonna send you all. All the subscribers and patrons, you're all gonna get like this beautiful um, this document with every game released in 2020 for y'all. Um, I know, speaking of that list, we're, let's head over here. Where am I here? What I miss? What I miss here? Oh yeah, of course. Um, the one other little piece of news. I, I said this last week, but I don't wanna. I don't want anyone to forget. Tickets for Amiga Ireland are now on sale. Amiga Ireland is happening virtually on Saturday, January 16th, 2021. Um, the tickets are 10 pounds. It's a virtual event this year. A no physical event in Amiga Ireland is happening virtually, and uh, they got like a games competition. They got a, um, a a graphics competition. I'm gonna be playing. The, I'm gonna I'm gonna be participating in the Dodgy Rocks competition. Although my main man Jiro in chat, he's he's the current champion of Dodgy Rocks at all skill levels. Jiro just like cleaned up. He just cl cleared it all. Jiro, Jiro, I'm coming for you though. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Oh man! So if you want to join, if you want to, um, if you want to attend Amiga Ireland, here's here's a link. Maya, you love the music. It's so good, right, Maya? I, I mean, the Hoffman. The Hoffman does not disappoint. He comes correct. Jiro, Jiro's gonna buy a ticket to compete with me in Dodgy Rocks. It's gonna. Oh, it's going down, Jiro. Oh, and Fred Seda says, Inca Man has got two players, co-op and versus. That is awesome, Fred Seda. There's also um, another new game announced, and it's part of a demo. There's a, a demo that came out um, recently, uh, came out on New Year's, and I have the demo ready to go if you guys want to check it out. And in the demo, they announced a new game. It's a ghost game. Looks really, really cool. Maybe we'll do that first. Maybe I'll play the demo, and uh, being that this is kind of the new section... Um, Cause that's it. That's that's what I got, man. It's a quick and Amiga news section because I, I we got 14 games to play today, folks. Let's, let me see. I'll show you what we're gonna play. Yo, Amiga Live, thank you so much for the sub, Amiga Live. You freaking rock, dude. Um, dude, AmigaLive.com. Play online multiplayer Amiga games. Are you kidding me? It is the coolest thing ever invented. And he streams too. There you go. <laughs> Amiga Live, love that guy, dude. How awesome! I, I it's just the Amiga community is just the best community ever, ever. Nivrig, Nivrig just posted a link to the Dodgy Rocks high scores. Look at Jiro, Jiro with oh Jiro, that is that's that is a, look at that score right there. Six, there's a lot of sixes in that score. Jiro, Jiro is the champion on normal level with six thousand six hundred sixty points. Where am I? I'm down. I'm down there. Uh, but look, I made it to wave 13, pretty good, with 1,200 points. I don't even want to break that record. If I go after 1,200, I gotta get 2,000. After 2,000, I get 4,000. And then at 4,000, I just I gotta call it quits. <laughs> this is a pretty cool online table, dude. Check it out. You you can like sort by uh, different difficulty levels. Oh, wait a minute. Jiro just got dethroned by Aris Amiga. Oh, snap. Jiro, get to work. Get to work, Jiro. Nightmare level, he's up. I love it. Oh, Aris Amiga taking the crown on easy level, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Jiro. Jiro, you got some work to do. <laughs> oh, Jiro, you're the best, dude. Uh, the Amiga Iron Compo will be separate score stables. Got it. We need more new VIC-20 games. Go to the future with 8-bit.com. Exclamation mark shop.
Nice, SR Baker is going to be playing some Pinball Dreams along with the stream. I love it, SR Baker. No way. I've never seen a Wallaby in real life, Amiga Kami. That is so freaking cool. Wow. Akimafin, I can't score anything but Amiga scores. That's it. That's it. Thank Torque Live. Thank you so much. Uh, let me shout out Torque Live. Torque Live, that was such a. You rated me earlier, right? Torque Live? Um. Yeah, dude, your 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 community was awesome, Torque Live. All your peeps came in here. Love it, Torque Live. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Can I let me make sure I can I can do this. Okay, I got you, Torque Live. There's Torque Live. <laughs> nice one, dude. Oh, I'm getting crazy. There we go. Thank you so much for the raid, Torque Live. I appreciate you so much. Boom. Um. <laughs> there should be bigger letter options. That's that's hilarious, Maya. I think you can. I think if you're watching, if you're watching it on a browser, you can just make the um, the the font bigger. But um, on your mobile, I don't know if you can. Speaking of raids, Comatron, thank you so much for the raid, Comatron. Dude, that was another great stream. I had Comatron on, and he taught me how to use Pro Tracker. Did another great stream. Comatron's the man, and it, you know I play his music. His, his music's my theme song. Comatron, you rock, dude. One man, dude. Comatron, all you need is one person raid when it's when it's Comatron. <laughs> all right, so wait, I, I gotta check. Okay, now I remember what I was gonna do. I remember what I was gonna do now. I got something in the mail, folks. I got something very special in the mail this morning. It's from one of my VIPs, Milo Loves Chocolate. Now, I don't know why my VIPs are sending me presents, but I appreciate it very, very much. So I wanna I wanna unbox it. I wanna see what Milo sent me. Milo, thank you so much for your, your generosity, dude. That's just, it's just crazy. Let's open it up. Let's see what Milo sent me. A, a little New Year's gift. I appreciate it. Squeaky, no worries, dude. Lurk away. Lurk away. Thanks. Thanks, Milo. Yeah, Fred Zeta. CD32, that'd be nice, right? <laughs> oh, man. Overhead cam, where are you? Let's see what Milo sent. Milo, you're too kind, dude. Carefully opening it so I don't drop it on my Amiga. It's all for the shot, you know, I gotta make sure, oh, I'm terrible. And what can I say, Milo? I mean, I appreciate this so much, dude. It's completely not necessary. I wanna make sure there's no sensitive information in the box. Oh, wow. I, I, it looks, wow, that is beautiful. Milo, dude. Oh man, it says, two Bill and the Misses have a wonderful 2021. Regards, Milo, dude. From Summerhill Pyramid Winery. Dude, this is a sweet bottle of wine, Milo. Dude, I don't even I don't even wanna open it because this package's so nice. Holy it's it's wine. It oh Milo, that is that is too kind of you. Thank you so much, Milo. Yeah, Amiga loves a spoiler, it might be chocolate. I was kinda thinking I was kinda thinking it might be chocolate. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this looks great. Oh, it's organic wine too. I dig, I dig. Crack the bottle. Milo, should I open it? Spinto booze from Santa. Should I open it, Milo? 
wife's device would come on the stream, but you know, she's uh, she's downstairs making chocolate. <laughs> Seriously, she is. I, we gotta send you some chocolate, Milo. Drink it. Oh, wow. Milo says it's vegan organic. All their selections are. Wow. I'll tell you what I'll do. I need to get a, an opener. I need to get an opener. Wow, it's oh, wow, this is really nice. Oh wow. Alive organic wine. Vegan organic wine by Alive. Dude, Milo, the only problem, Milo, is like I really wanna like have this with her. You know what I mean? I don't wanna just sit here on stream and pound it. I wanna because this is a wine that she's really gonna like. So I, I just I really would like to experience it with her. You know what I mean? Yeah, Pred Seda, there is wine that's not vegan, believe it or not. Because um, I think they use, they, I forgot what they use, but they use some kind of animal product as preservatives. But this is, um, this is vegan wine. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, due to the filtration process, exactly. Oh, I'll see that. Uh, Emmy came says most wines are fine with egg, milk, or fish. Very, very interesting. Milo, we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll crack it open later. Um, but I want to, like, I really want to enjoy it with her because this is very special and she's gonna enjoy it too. And it's got the vegan sticker on it, dude. It's um, it's awesome. I, I, dude, seriously. Thank you so much, Milo. You're you're amazing, dude. Thank you so much. All right, we got games to play, folks. Um, but what I'm thinking is. Check it out. Uh, what demo is it? I'm thinking, so there's a demo called Happy New Year and it's got a new Amiga game announcement for 2021 in it. I'm thinking I'll play the demo. I'm thinking to play the demo and and then we'll put, start get into all the gaming. I think we'll do that. So I gotta reboot the Amiga. Cause I'm, I'm gonna play it for my real Amiga. It'll give me a chance to like hydrate and get ready. It's an awesome gift, Captain John. I'm so excited. All right, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to turn off the Hoffman because uh, we're gonna play the demo. I'm pretty sure this is an ADF. Happy New Year 2021. And the reason why I'm gonna play this demo is because it announces a new game so appropriate for the Amiga News section. I think it's called uh, H, let's see. Yep, here it is. Here it goes, folks. Rocky2040, thank you so much for the follow, Rocky. Appreciate that very much. Let's watch the demo in Master Control. What do you guys think? So this is, it's called Happy New Year 2021. It's by Agama. Third place in the old school demo in Hagamani 2020. Here, I'll throw the link into the chat. It's hard with, these, these headphones are hard. Difficult. Welcome to the stream, Rocky. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. We're booting up a brand new demo that came out. And the reason why I'm playing this demo is because it announces a new game. A new game coming in for the Amiga in 2021. So it's part of the Amiga new section. Here we go. I like it. That's a cool logo. Nice one, Emperor Arcade. Amiga love, loving it, nice.
here's the game, the first preview of this new game that's coming out. It looks awesome. game looks cool. Inapro Arcade says, while this demo is amazing, want to say I absolutely love the emails. He loves the Amiga Bill goodie bags that I send out. Honestly, I think everyone active in the community should sub to you for that alone. What a resource. You helped make my 2020 not as shitty. And for this, my family thanks you. Oh, thank you so much, Inapro Arcade. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you enjoyed this goodie bags. I really appreciate that. I love, I love it too. Look at it. It's like you're a little ghost and you blow the bubble. It's, it's, it's awesome. I dig the physics. A bubble ghost, yeah. Bubble story. 17-bit <laughs> retro, yeah. A, a little Sid, a little C64 Sid sound. Comatron says bubble ghost expanded. Nice. Yeah, and Alpine 9000. It's, it's cool. This is a demo. Hands off. War High Techs, thank you so much for the follow, War High Techs. Welcome to the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'm the Fred Fish of the ages. That's hilarious, Milo. Sep Lemon Amiga checking in from the Amiga Bill VIP lounge. Sep, welcome. Sep, you're you're riding in the car next, baby. I got some good. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some all like Henry Magritte with you. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> I look like a magician, Milo. That's hilarious. The Amiga magician. Thank you so much, War High Tech. I appreciate that. Well, thank you for the follow. Yo, Rocky 2040. Thank you so much for the subscription, Rocky 2040. Appreciate that. Rocky2040 now watching ad free, and he gets that Amiga Bell goodie bag. And the cool emojis. Happy New Year 2021. And Amiga release in December 2020. Happy New Year, folks. Of course, this demo will be in the Amiga Bell goodie bag. Nice. Nice, everyone. Time for some games. What is up first? Let me turn this off, get that water out of the... All magic possible only with the boing ball. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Sep, dude, Sep, thank you for your support, man. You're you're amazing, Sep. Um, so everyone, I am going off. Uh, I'm going to go over to my, my database over here. And everyone is going to get this this database, by the way. Um, where am I here? Amiga Games 2020. Um, everyone's going to get this. It's not a database. It's a spreadsheet. Everyone's going to get this. Oh, I know what we're starting with. Guys, this one is wild. This is really, really wild, right? I'm going to play two games that I couldn't play last week. I'm going to play Heart of Darkness, which is actually a PlayStation 1 game that has been um, ported to the Amiga. And you need a really fast Amiga to play it, obviously. I'm not even sure if an 060 will do it. But if you have, like, a Vampire or if you have a Raspberry Pi 4, you can play it. Um, or if you have, you know, WinUAE on your PC, you can play it. That's So what I did was... I. I was going to use WinUAE. I don't have RTG graphics set up on my Raspberry Pi set up yet. So I have to use WinUAE. Um, so, and I, it's, this game is pretty demanding. And WinUAE doesn't play nice when I have OBS, my streaming software, up. So what I did was I, like, I recorded some gameplay for you. And I, I recorded it, I guess, a video file. So I'm just going to play the video file as if I'm playing the game. I am playing the game, just not playing it live. I hope that makes sense. So we got Heart of Darkness. We got uh, Magic, which I couldn't play last time because I didn't own it. Uh, but I bought it from, from Binary Zone. So I bought Magic. We're going to check out Magic as a commercial game. And then we got uh, Sumeria, Suidron, The Curse of Ravenstein, Tiny Bobble, Tiny Galaga, Tiny Invaders, Tiny Little Slug. Lots of tiny stuff. Uh, Tristam Island, Vegetables Deluxe, Wiz, Super Wormy the Worm-like Snake, and Zegred. It's going to be awesome. Gonna be awesome. Thank you, Seth Lemon Amiga. You know, like me and the and the wife device usually go on our our Great Gatsby party, but couldn't do it this year, um, because because for obvious reasons. So so I need the suit, man. The suit came out of the closet. It was all pressed and good to go. And I was like, I need an excuse to wear the three piece. So I figured, what better excuse than the first dream of 2021? Um, so let's do this. So guys, so this is um, this is Heart of Darkness. Um, you can download it. Uh, here's the the thread. Here's a link to Heart of Darkness. Uh, the best way to do it is to check out the English Amiga board thread. I just posted a link into the chat. Of course, all the subs get this master list too in the goodie bag after the stream is over. 
Um, and I'm going to be playing. So um, it's a little bit tricky to set up. And a big shout out to uh, to Damien D from from English Amiga Board. He made this awesome HDF file with it already set up, and that's that's how I got it to work. Even even with Damien D's uh, HDF file, like it's it's hard to get to work because it, it's the configuration is a little bit tricky. But I finally got it to work. Um, sometimes it crashes, sometimes it doesn't, which is another reason why I wanted to do a um, a recording of it because there's a good chance it was gonna it was gonna crash. So uh, let's do it. Um, let's check out Heart of Darkness. Um, Edvin Helen says Heart of Darkness runs perfectly on an Amiga 1200 Vampire. Perfect. See, it's it's cool. Like I dig the fact that they're putting out games where you need like a vampire, like you need the strong stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, yo, um, Lior Baz 58. Thank you so much for the follow uh, and welcome to the stream. Appreciate appreciate the follow very very much. Thank you. If you're new to my stream, you're just watching today for the first time. I'm Bill and I stream uh, here on Twitch every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UTC. 8 p.m. Central European time. Um, I stream almost every Sunday. When I can't stream on Sunday, I, I make do. I stream another day during the week. Sometimes I do a bonus stream. I also have a YouTube channel. I do it with my buddy Anthony called The Guru Meditation. And um, and I run the Westchester Amiga user group, man. Like we're, WOG's getting strong, yo. WOG is growing every month. I love it. I love it. If, you want, if you're interested in joining WOG, just hit me up with a private message and you'll get in. Um, and it's, uh, it's a fun time. All right, Heart of Darkness. Let's check it out. Um, let's see if I can do this. This is going to be weird because I'm actually not playing the game. <laughs> it's going to look like I'm playing the game, but I'm not playing the game. Um, Heart of Darkness, where are we? Heart of Darkness, there we go. Again, each game I'm, I'm going to play is 10 minutes. So I'm going to play each game for 10 minutes. And I'm going to play the opening to Heart of Darkness because it's so cool. It, I mean, to see this happen like on Amiga is really, really rad. Heart of Darkness had a lot of 2D hand-drawn animation. Um, yeah, th so this is also by Eric Shahai, who also made Another World for Amiga and Flashback. So yeah. Um, I don't play any NES or Sega on the stream. Uh, well, I won't say never, but mostly it's like 99% Amiga. You're not a fan of Heart of Darkness? I like it so far. I haven't played it much, but so far the little I played was, was fun. I didn't play it last week because, uh, like I said, of the the Win UAE was conflicting, and this game crashes kind of frequently with my Win UAE. Freaking cool, right? How did they re-encode the videos for the Amiga from the PlayStation? I, I think Human Interact is a great question. I don't know. Um, I feel like it's playing the original uh, PlayStation uh, files, but I'm not because uh, you have to download. You download the original version of Heart of Dark. You download Heart of Darkness, um, and then you can and then you uh, you play you play using those files. I think there was Milo. Oh wow! Afraid of the dark. <laughs> this opening is so cool, though. Come back here, this pretty young man. No way, no you have the PC version, Gabor. Nice. Awkward Albert said the PC version data files work too, not just PlayStation. Maybe that's what I have. I bet you this is the the PC files. Amiga Love, oh my god, dude, it sounds, it does sound just like Pink Floyd, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's... Squeaky35, I could do a whole show on this. That, that would be a great idea. Yet these days, th these things, th uh, these days things are a little bit different with the king. It would be really cool, though, to have, like, uh, an Amigo with a vampire in it and see this playing on it. It'd be, it'd be really cool. This opening is epic. It's really sad though. It, make, it really bums me out. First, the kid gets kicked out of school by the angry teacher, and then you'll see. Nice field. I love laying down in the field. I did that a lot. I did this a lot in the local park where I live during the, during the lockdown. The dog is awesome. Everybody, 
<laughs> it is cool the dog has that. He's scared though. Some nasty stuff going on. Dude, it's so brutal. And there's the hat. Oh my god. I, I gotta be honest, the first time I saw this opening, I got a little emotional. <laughs> For early uh, CG openings, this one's quite well done. Yeah, agreed, agreed. The King of Kaiju, you gotta save the dog. Like, this, it got me so fired up to play the game. Like, you gotta get the dog back, you know what I mean? It feels like a movie, right? Glory Bass. It's got some Stranger Thing vibes, you know? <laughs> the Goonies Fort, yes. Duke Donuts, what's up, buddy? Great to see you here, Duke. If you're just joining the stream, uh, we are still counting down the Amiga Games of 2020. We have 14 games to play today. Um, and this is the first one. This is Heart of Darkness. Good to see you too, Duke. I hope all's well, bud. Actually, because it's playing, I can shout some people out. That's not an Amiga hilarious. Oh yeah, the S startup sequence is a good reference. Yeah, totally, Milo. You're right. I just shouted out two great peeps. Duke Donuts and uh, and Human Interact. All right, we, we got our blaster. We got our helmet. We're ready to go. Now this is an Amiga game. This is running on an Amiga. Of course, dude. You and Human Interact are two amazing streamers. <laughs> Yeah, Iraq, I was gonna I was wondering about that too, but don't worry, you'll see some gameplay. Ty Racer, what's up buddy? Great to see you, Ty. Happy New Year. Hope all's well. Does he have a Greek stick? Yeah, <laughs> totally, Fred Seda. The music has no right to be as good. It's really good, right? We got our gun, and we're ready to go kick some butt. So now this is the actual gameplay. That was all just the opening. Now we're looking at the actual gameplay. And again, if you have WinUAE, you can play this. Look at these The deaths in this game are pretty intense. You gotta take out those shadow figures. And what you're looking at, guys, is gameplay of me playing it with WinUAE. Wreck the Crate, the graphics are really awesome, right? Oh, see? Those Shadow Figures grab you. You gotta, you gotta throw them off. You grab me, throw them off. Get off me, Shadow Figure. Give me my dog back, you punk. Stop it! Oh, Human Interact is saying he thinks on the PlayStation uh, the frame rate was half this. Interesting. A lot of dead, yeah. There's a lot of deaths in this one, Jiro. Yeah, Vampire or Fast 060 with RTG. Or, or oh, Raspberry Pi 400 will do it too. Which is what I want to do. I, just, I haven't put RTG on my Pi yet. But the graph, you can definitely tell it's Eric Chai, right? Because it looks it looks a bit like another world. This game would hold up today as an indie Steam release, totally Mila.
In a pro, yeah, I've got the Pi Amiga. I do have it. And I have um I have a Mibian 1.5 too. I just haven't installed I'm using my Mibian 1.5 mostly. I just haven't put the RTG on it yet. It's on my to-do list. Thanks, Amiga Mark. Gotta bring in the new year proper. Maybe Red Zeta. I, I love the action in this game, how you can shoot, like, the direction of your laser blaster is pretty cool. This, I think this is a little glitch here, so I just kind of moved on. You would love to see us working on a mister? I don't think it will work on a mister. I don't think the mister is fast enough yet. But I would love to see that too. You prefer Turrican too? Yeah, uh, Turrican, uh, me too. <laughs> but this is fun. It's, it's just cool that you can actually play this on, the, on an Amiga of sorts. Looks like they're made of tar, right? Well, they're, they're shadowy figures. But the way, yeah, like the way their bodies move too, it's kind of liquid-esque. Yeah, two color graphics, but really good motion. Agreed, Mixels Lab. Super fluid, right, in the pro? Oh, I think there's one minute left of gameplay. I, I know my timer ran out, but I think there's another minute left. We'll, we'll, we'll finish it out. Ghostbusters, right here, Doc. I think, I think I die here soon, though, and the death is absolutely brutal. Or did I die already? I, I know I fell down the... I fell down, but I can't remember. I know the shadow figure got me. I can't remember if I included it in the video. I'm pretty sure I left the death in there, though. If I didn't, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a really fun game, but to be honest, like shooting those guys did get a little repetitive. Hey, what's up, Al Anonymous? Yeah, this is a beautiful looking game, right? Yo, what's up, Ms. DK? You're pretty sure this game runs faster than a normal PC version? The shadow creatures move faster than on the PC version? Great to see you, Ms. DK. All right, there we have it. Heart of Darkness, our first game of the day. I put the link into the chat. You can go over to the English Amiga board and download it. Um, I guess, is it is it public domain now? I don't know. Maybe not. Amiga to Gamer 1200, what is up, dude? Great to see you. Um, so I'm jumping around a little bit. We're starting with H, because last week we were starting with H and going to S. Um, but today I'm going Heart of Darkness, because we couldn't play it last week. And now we're going to play Magic, which I've never played before. Um, it is a game that came out, obviously, in 2020. Um, I went over to um, to this website here to Binary Zone and purchased it. Um, we'll go to ch 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 desktop. This is where you can purchase it. Uh, Magic now shipping. Cytronic Software. Cytronic Software also created Rotator, one of my favorite games that came out in 2020. Rotator is freaking awesome. Um, Cytronic's very pleased to present Magic, a puzzle game released for the Commodore Amiga. Magic was originally released briefly in 1991. Uh, but unfortunately, the company involved with publishing the game went bust shortly after the game was released and only a few copies were sold. Flash forward to 2020 and Cytronic is proud to give this rare Amiga game a proper commercial release, complete with a glossy box packaging. Oh, very cool. I, I haven't got, I ordered it, uh, Pred Zeta, but I didn't get the box yet. That's really, really cool. Um, what's up, Simon69Twitch? How's it going? Uh, ch -ch -ch. You like VIC-20 Atari 2600 for the graphics? Uh, Atari 8-bit graphics are pretty rad, too. So here's Magic. Um, did I drop the link into the chat? Binary Zone. Here we go. That's where you can purchase Magic. This is a commercial game. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Let me uh, get untangled here. Oh, I got a... Should I start with Greek Stick or Monster Stick today? Actually, I think, I think Magic is... 
Is it? Does it even use a joystick? I don't know. I'll I'll I'll, I'll bust out the Greek stick first. Plug it in. Um. You know what? You know what, folks? I I need to use the boys. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play a demo for you while I use uh, the bathroom really quick, and then we'll play Magic. <laughs> slight slight change in plans, but this is a demo that came out in December. It's freaking awesome, and uh, and you're gonna love it. It's called the Super Spreader. <laughs> oh man, I gotta find it. I wasn't planning on it. Super Spreader. Here we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Cool demo, right? Yeah, that was that was the office manager. My cat, the office manager. My tuxedo cat. I like this demo. Spread the demo, not the Rona. There's one piece of, of false information in this demo though. Revision was not canceled. Revision went virtual. Revision certainly happened. And the demo I started to stream with won at revision. So revision was not canceled. Granted, the physical revision was canceled. But the, the but revision was not canceled. But super, super cool demo. I dig it. And I love how it's the super spreader. Like they actually give you an address where you can send a floppy disk to and they send you the demo on a floppy disk. That's freaking awesome. You're looking for, yeah, totally. Me too, Spinto. The demo's gonna be sweet, I can't wait. Um, is Jeremy from Double Side Games in the chat? Um, he's, he's retro red rum, I didn't see him. I haven't seen him yet, he might be here, I'm not sure. 
He's retro red rum. If you, Fred said, if you need to get in touch with him, let me know. I, I dig this demo though. Sorry, I wasn't playing. I'm playing this demo just yet. I just uh, I had to I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> In a pro arcade, uh, this is called the Super Spreader demo. Let me find it. I'll find it for you. Good question. I wasn't planning on, on playing it. That's, that's why. Um, I'll find it for you. I have to find the link. I can't find it. Here it is. Holagon Super Spreader. December 2020. Awesome. It's called Holagon Super Spreader by the Electronic Knights. You, Sin Lao? Oh, I hope you're back in business, Sin Lao. Alright, magic, let's go. Now, I've got no idea how to play magic. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, I hope I hope the baby's good. I hope the baby's good in it, bro. It's got awesome music. Sin Lao and Nipro Arcade feeding babies there in the stream. You guys are all stars. I hope you and your families are, are awesome. Whoa! It's like a crack trail. From Turner Max. The cool dude crew. This is an awesome opening. Oh, Hoffman did the graphics and the music? Craziness. Squeaky 35 reminds you of the 80s? Oh yeah, it really does. The font, the music, everything. It reminds you of the, the Red Sector demo, Scarlet? Totally. Oh, if you hold down the button, it makes the scroller go faster. That's pretty cool. We'll meet you at the Golden Joystick Awards. You guys are pumped. I like it. Have fun playing magic. If you don't want to read this scroller, again, press both mouse buttons. Right on. <laughs> Right is for rewind and left for fast forward. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. Very cool. Love it, right, Texas Foosballer? The game is similar to Puznik. I haven't played it. Magic. Now, this is a commercial release. 
like I said, it was uh, it apparently it originally came out in 1991 and uh, for a very brief moment. Okay, play sound effects. We want music. Yeah, we want music. New data, play. <laughs> MonsterJoysticks.com. What is up, buddy? Yo, Monster Joysticks, I uh, appreciate you so much, man. Checking in from the VIP lounge. I've, I've, I made some upgrades for my VIPs here in 2020. I really appreciate your support, Monster Joysticks. I'm playing the next game. I'm playing with the Monster Joystick. Yo, Monster Joystick, did you see what Amiga Love did to your to your Monster Mini? It's incredible, dude. Incredible. Nano157, thank you so much for the follow, Sonano. Welcome to the stream. A pleasure to have you here. Alright, how do we play? Um, whoa. I'm dead already? Whoa. I wonder if this is like going crazy on the accelerator. All right, level one complete. <laughs> um, so you push these suckers and you gotta match them up somehow. Um, green, green, on. Can I push red that way? No. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Monster Joysticks. Oh yeah, Amiga loves. Uh, yeah, Amiga love tagged you on Twitter. His his joystick looks ridiculous. <laughs> now I'm wonder I'm I'm wondering if it's running too fast. I I I, I should have read the directions first, I guess. So I I pushed. R so you gotta match him up. Man, you gotta be fast. I'm using an NT, a PAL Amiga, PAL Amiga original. Ty Racer, thank you for the bit. Um, this is the, the, the Amiga I'm playing from right now. That's one of the things, I, I might bring Amiga Cam back into the full time mix. This is my, uh, a PAL Amiga 1200 with a 68030 inside of it, ACA 1233N. So fast. Oh, Nagram said he bought this game. Uh, the timer is too quick on anything faster than the Amiga 500. Oh, there you go. That's that's the problem then. Yeah, it's it's too fast. <laughs> I think Nag Nagram is right. I think it's probably my accelerator is the problem. But yeah, Seth. Uh, I mean, Fred said it has the game, so maybe he can he can help with that. Red, blue. Let's see. Can I push this way? Oh, I guess you can only push to the left. Milo, yeah, I probably, I could slow the computer down, probably. I need a CPO loop fix, yeah. So the, uh, Nagram has got the game. He said, basically, the game's impossible beyond level one if you have a faster processor than 68,000. Yeah, that, the, my CD32 colored um, Amiga 1200 is, is quite sexy. I agree. Oh yeah, I have to start with the orange. I forgot that. Try that again. I think I have to start uh, blue with this guy. We gotta get the green down there. Orange, red. You gotta be like really smart <laughs> to play at this speed. Or do I go blue? Blue first, then this guy, then got the green. I don't know, can you push? Can you push to the right or only left? Let's see. Fred Seda is totally insane, right? I feel like I'm speed running.
too fast. Oh, I think my counter reset. Iraq, that's a great question. Um, I don't think this is WHD load version because it's a new commercial game. Fred Seda played it in a lower speed on a WinUAE Amiga 500 config, but still fast. I can I can beat level one. Love it. <laughs> well. I get, the game's broken on an Amiga 12, uh, on an accelerated Amiga 1200, but not on a, uh, can I push it that way? And then, alright, push it that way. I'm just curious if I can get the salmon color here. One and done, right, Oram? Like, if I can get the salmon, I see... Or the green. Oh, I should push green over first. Maybe that's what I should do. I, it's also it's weird with my headphones. They don't they don't fit well with my hat. You have six seconds per level. I don't. I'm not even 100. Yeah. No, I mean I kind of know how to play the game. You gotta match up the colors. So if I, what happens if I go like? Oh, I, I blocked the green. Uh, no, I was gonna push green over first. That's all right, I gotta push green over first. That's what I'll do. The bottom green I'll push over first, maybe. I need a hat mod. I I should have. I need to get uh, some some earbuds. I don't even think I have any working earbuds right now. All right, so that's magic. I'm not gonna play anymore because obviously the game doesn't run properly on my machine. But um, I can see the game being really fun at the right speed. Lots of good puzzle games came out this year, folks. Magic. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare something here, folks. Oh man, I can't find Robbie's mix. Where'd I put it? Where the heck did I put it? Amiga. Oh, may I put it under Amiga Music? Yo! Dark Star, thank you so much for becoming a, a Patreon, a $10 Patreon. Dude, you are amazing. All access, baby. Thank you so much, Dark Star. You're, you're too, too kind. Thank you so much. Thank you so, that's amazing. I really appreciate your, your support. That was magic. That was magic. It, the game's got a lot of potential. Um, a lot of potential, but too fast on my on my machine. So check out the next game is a text adventure game. So I need I need a little background music. So I'm playing uh, a special mix that Ravi Abbott made especially for me. He's uh, the formula on on Mixcloud. Um, hmm. 
I, I gotta figure out how to, how to link over to, to his channel. But Ravi Abbott, you know, he's an editor of, a, of a Amiga Addict magazine, and he's also co-host of Retro Hour. Um, Ravi is the man, and he made the special mix for me. So I'm gonna play it while we do the text adventure. Also, don't forget, at 4.20 p.m., less than an hour from now, I'm gonna raffle off a copy of Amiga Addict magazine. Magic does not match my Amiga, exactly. Litwarski, it seems like the game is broken like 2020 was. Hopefully someone will fix it in 2021. I, you know, I mean, to be, um, I mean, to be fair though, dang, Sukeski Dudeski, what is up, Sukeski? Great to see you, Sukes. I mean, I don't know if the game is broken. I mean, it just doesn't run on a fast Amiga. The original Patrick, thank you so much for the follow, the original Patrick, welcome. Magic Johnson. <laughs> Oh man, Patrick, the original Patrick, thank you for the follow. And it's great to see you, Sooks. I need, Sooks, we need to play, dude. 3D Code Warrior tiered 512 bits for 512K OCS, but you need to play that game. The, so, the game will probably work fine on a, on an old school, uh, I mean, on an OCS Amiga. Wow, we got uh, 3D Code Warrior's cheer rewarded 10 others with emotes in chat. I like it. Now, I don't usually stream text adventures, so we'll check it out. Um, let's see. Oh, we got some good music to go along with it. I dig it. I got to, you know, let me drop a link to it in the chat, though. Pull up my, uh, my, my spreadsheet. Nope, wrong, wrong, wrong browser. So we're going to link to LemonAmiga.com, exclamation mark Lemon in the chat. Yo, Pixel at Dawn Gaming, thank you. Thank you, Pixel at Dawn Gaming, for linking to, uh, to Robbie. Um, let's, do, let's go to desktop. This is what we're listening to now. We're listening to Robbie Abbott. See, there it is, the Amiga Bill exclusive mix. He's got awesome mixes on here. This is what we're listening to right here. Oh, good. He's, apparently he's live now. Awesome. Robbie's the man. Um, and let's head over to Lemon Amiga. So this is the game we're about to play. Cool. Let's see. Let's see if it works. If you're just joining the stream, we are counting down every Amiga game that came out in 2020. Um, I have to count and see how many there were exactly. This is Sumeria. It's a text adventure. Press any key for a leap of faith. Amiga version, July 31st, 2020. Sumaria. It's not a text adventure? Oh, oh, right, it's a, um... Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not sure that it works. Um, it says, you, Hammurabi, the king of Babylonia, rule over your country, making the only decision worth making. Where does this year's green go? Right, it's, that's right. It's kind of like a, a word game. Uh, it's not, scratch that, folks. Not a text adventure. Amiga Bill Guru meditated. As you can tell, I never played it before. Um, let's see. Where does the grain go? For the food feed, for the food feeds the people now, buys land or goes to planting for a very variable harvest next year. Choose wisely and your country prospers. People immigrate from foreign lands, you expand your land holding and the grain rever uh, reserves overflow. Choose poorly and you face the consequences of famine, plague, and poverty. Wow, wow. Gratitude to Mike Arnatov Collection for saving these valuable sources. Sebastian Bauer for add-on tools, new tool chain for Amiga OS. Um, Petsajim1 for beta testing. He's got a YouTube channel. They're, they're uh, going to create a high score mechanism, high score table. Add wars and insurgency features. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, I don't think we're going to get to play it, folks. Wow. 
squeaky th squeaky 35 uh squeaky 35 dude there's never any pressure to subscribe ever dude the fact that you're here and hanging out is really all that matters and i, I appreciate your presence here no one should ever feel any any pressure to like ever subscribe or anything like that i just try and basically what i do is i try and just reward people who who do um who do do that um but my, the biggest gift you can give to me is just hanging out being awesome Oh, the Amiga is definitely retro. <laughs> it's from a previous age, but it doesn't mean it's dead. Agreed, agreed. <laughs> Fred Seda, you're hilarious. I think this game requires some setup that I have not done. Voxel Trots. Dude, that is awesome. Voxel Trots, thank you for gifting a sub to Squeaky35. Voxel Trots, you're, you're too awesome. You're too awesome. Thank you so much. Vox, um, Voxel Trots, thank you. You're, you're going to enjoy that goodie bag, Squeaky35. Oh, wait. Amiga Kami says it's an OS4 game. I didn't know that. Yo, C64 Television checking in from the Amiga Bill VIP Lounge. C64 Television, did you... I played the I played the, the lounge earlier in the, in the stream. Welcome. I didn't know this was a yo. The original Patrick was my favorite Amiga game. That's a really good question. I guess I, you know maybe Another World might be my favorite Amiga game, um, but I don't know. I love Another World. I love Reshooter. I love Lemmings. I love Shadow of the Beast for its technical prowess. The one I pick up and play most, maybe Reshooter. I don't know. You played it from ADF via Win UAE? Um, let me see something real quick here, folks. Might have to come back to this one. I don't have an ADF of it. I've got, wait, oh wait, maybe, let me check this. Let me see, I'm gonna download this really, really quick. Dropbox. Sorry for this, folks. Maybe we'll come back to this one. I'm just curious if, if I can get a uh, if I can get an idea. Now I the link the link at the unlimited Amiga doesn't have an idea. But Amiga Kami says for OS4. Oh, so there is, there's a, it looks like there's an Aeros version and there's an OS4 version as well. Check out, see what I'm, this is what came, I'll show you guys. Um, so C64 Television, I also added some perks for the VIPs. Uh, you guys are now in the credits, which is awesome. <laughs> um, and you have special Discord. I don't know, if, are you on Discord, C64 Television? Um... See, when you download it, it comes with this. So I figured, I figured this one is the original Amiga OS version. And then it looks like it's got Aeros, it's got OS 4, and OS 3? Interesting. Oh, maybe that's the one I'm supposed to run? I don't know. Weird. C64 Television, can you um, s send me a private message on Discord? I'm not sure that you're in my Discord server. You gotta be in there. Let me see if I have that file. Sorry for this, folks. This is a bummer. I'll move on to the next game if I can't get it working quickly. Oh, I didn't copy everything over. Sorry, folks. I'm gonna bang this out really quick. 
we'll just play the game for a second anyway. It looks like it's pretty complicated. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go here. Copy. I'm so I'm gonna copy it over onto my compact flashcard now and, and reboot. Um, best of 2020. I mean, all games of 2020. Me games 2020. There we go. Um, Samaria. I'm gonna delete that. No, I do have them all in there. They're all there. Uh, I'll try one more time. Sorry, this is a, this is terrible for streaming. I'll try one more time really quick. Yeah, a lot of resource is just being text. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it, folks. Um, I'm gonna try it really quick. I'm probably not gonna spend the full the full time on it though, just because we have a lot of other games to get to. Let me open up this with the after scenario. Swedron. I remember playing this one, it's funny. The Polish game. Awesome C64 television, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your support, C64 television. You're, you're amazing, dude. I, I really appreciate you. Normally I would test all the games before I play them, it's just that when you're playing like 38 games, it's, I ran out of time. Sumeria. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do by name. There we go. Nice! We got it, folks. Retro Ralph, what is up, dude? Great to see you. Uh, oh, wow. Predzeta said, this is great. All my online Twitch friends are now watching Amiibo. Awesome, Predzeta. Thank you so much for you and all your friends uh, for, your, for your support. You love NES. Um, stop it now. You love NES music? It's so good. Oh, stop, stop it now. You know, there's some really great... Um, there's a really great documentary on YouTube. Yeah, there's a really great one on YouTube about NES music. I think it's on Red Bull Music's channel. Uh, okay, cool. Do you know how to play? No, too bad. Only Amiga makes hints. A bushel of grain provides two provides seeds for two acres. People die unless they receive 20 bushels of food per year per person. People are attracted to uh, Sumeria if you up the 20 bushels per person average. Try your hand at, at governing ancient Sumeria for a 10-year term in office. Oh, wow. <laughs> Only a true Hammurabi survived for 42 years. Hammurabi, I beg to report to you. In the year 1793 BC, no person starved. Five came to the city. Population is now 100. The city owns 1,000 acres. You have harvested three bushels per acre. Rats ate 200 bushels. You now have 2,800 bushels in store. Land is trading at 19 bushels per acre. How many acres do you wish to buy? Uh. Alright, a bushel of grain provides for two acres. Wow. Simon, you think this is more of a civilization type game than an adventure? Yeah, exactly. It seems like math class. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Xzaris, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. It's a, it's a pleasure. Pleasure to have you. Um, I'm playing a game here called uh, Sumeria. Um, it's a thinking game, and I, you know, I'm 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 glad I able I was able to get to run. Let's put it that way. Um, wait, so you now have, I have 2,000 inner bushels in the store. Land is trading at 19. How many acres do you wish to buy? Um, three bushels per acre. How many acres? I want to buy 100 acres. How many bundles do you wish to feed your people? Um, three. Uh, let's, no, let's, let's give them a lot. Let's give them 100. 
How many acres do you wish to plant with seed? 100. I'm just going 100. I've starved 96 people in one year. For this extreme mismanagement, you have been deposed, flayed alive, and publicly beheaded. Jesus! <laughs> May Astaroth preserve your ka. Game over. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. What's up, Trito Wave? Mr. Maxman, how's it going, dude? You remember playing a game like this on the BBS back in the day? Yeah, you know, if I was in the right mindset, I bet this would be really cool. Stop an owl, uh, put a large amount of poison in the bushes, feed them to men and decreasing amount of poison until they stop dying. Oh, that's a good one. Make it <laughs> that is so cool. Um, and then leave them to the rats. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, we're listening to try to wait. We're listening to Robbie's mix that he made for me. It's amazing. You need to drink more beer to play this, Stuart. Yeah, totally. You like this game? Amiga Villa Tyrant. Squeaky, I know. Squeaky, that was fast, right? Straight to the gulag. I deserved it. Yeah, this would be a really fun play on a BBS. I agree, Amiga Kami. A little harsh, but fair. Stop it now. Can you play this on a PC? Um, well, you, if you have an Amiga emulator, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not going to try again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on to the next game. Speaking of the next game, what is it? Well, there you go. That was interesting. That That is in I don't think any other... I thought it was a, an adventure game. It is not. I don't think any other game like that came out for, for the Amiga this year. Very. I bet, you know, if you're in the right mindset, it could be cool. So the next game we're going to play is called Swedron. There's a link for you. Um, let me check. Is Swedron is an ADF and an HD install. So let me uh, close this out. Let's see if I have it here. See if it runs. If not, I'll, I'll do it from ADF. We got so many games to go through today, folks. Ravi, thank you for the music, dude. Appreciate you very much. I'm gonna turn it off now because I think I think this game has got um, I think this game has got music. We'll see. It definitely has some kind of sounds. Let's see if I can run it right from here. Oh yeah, here we go. Reset that counter. Instructions for Swedron. Uh. Oh, we got tunes. Uh, I got the Greek stick in there now. I'm gonna play a little with the Greek stick. I killed enough people today. <laughs> you get to starve your citizens, worship a Lovecraftian monster, get tortured to death. Yeah, it's good. The light blue on the gray is hard to read. Yeah, you know, you can change that too. The best. Nalepsha means the best. Nalepsha means the best. Evil Polish game. <laughs> Pie gravity. Oh, did it crash? Out of memory. Oh, man. All right, Swedron. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna try this again. Oh, man. We'll try that again. Oh, man. Not having good luck here today, folks, and we have so many games to play, too. Nice. <laughs> Yo, Recta Pete, my man. What is up, Recta? Great to see you, buddy. Um, welcome to the stream, Recta Pete. I, I really enjoyed our Atari ST versus Amiga stream. You, you came in at the right moment here. I'm guru meditating, Pete. Yeah, only 131 megabytes free. Not enough. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you know, I got Awkward Aardvark. I should install that. Andy Amiga 7. What is up, buddy? Great to see you, Andy Amiga 7. It's all your fault? Ah. Ah. No, it's my fault, Pete. I'm running in too many colors. 
It's great to see you, Andy Amiga 7. It's a shame Workbench needs you to play with the settings to make it nicer looking. Yeah. If this doesn't work, I can play it from the, uh, from the ADF. I also, I, I can turn down the number of colors too to free up some RAM. Let's see if this works. Here we go again. Take two. It's got really good music though. Yes, here we go, nice. That sounds good, Amiga Cami. Oh, it's a Boulder Dash game. Excellent. Dude, awesome music. I, I dig. Sweet drawn. Can I, can I break through that rock? No. Yeah, it's really nice music, right? Try to wave and, and wreck the beat. Oh, hey, wait. Oh, the rock rolled down. Interesting. Are these rocks going to crush me? Oh, they could. They could. These guys are good. I think we're safe here. It's just the boulders that crush you. We're mining diamonds, I dig it. I think that's the exit over there on the left. I'm about to run out of time. I need to get these diamonds quick. Twenty-three seconds left. I think we got them all, right? Now can we go out on the exit on the left? Out we go. Nice. Mission accomplished. You think there's dynamite, but you have to pick it up first? Oh, okay. It sounds like a pan flute, right? Charnay said it is the predecessor to, to Steam World Dig. Stop it now. It's got really nice music. I agree. I don't see any dynamite. It looks like I got five bombs, right? Because if you look on the bottom of the screen, it looks like I got five bombs. If you're just joining the stream, welcome. We are playing every Amiga game that came out in 2020. Uh, I have to do the official count, but I think it's 36. I think there's 36 games on my list. Petzl Official, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Uh, if you're new to my streams, I'm Bill, and I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch. Sundays, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6 p.m., uh, 7 p.m. UTC, and 8 p.m. Central European time. Um, I'm a bit of a moving target. I try and stream every Sunday. Every now and then I, I don't, but uh, it's usually every Sunday at that time. Uh, sometimes I do a bonus stream during the week. And I also have a YouTube channel I do with my buddy Anthony called The Guru Meditation. You can do exclamation mark guru in the chat. And I'm going to be making a video about this, this rad um, Go X drive that I have. That I'm playing some of these games off of. And uh, today we are playing every Amiga game that came out in 2020. Actually, it's part three. It's part three. And in 20 minutes, at 4.20 p.m., I'm going to raffle off a copy of Amiga Addict Magazine. It's a brand new Amiga Ad uh, Magazine that came out January 1st. Um, I happen to be in the first issue of it, so I'm raffling off copies of it. Three copies all together. Some of the creators of the magazine are in chat with us. Oh, look at this. There's some, like, rivets growing. Now it's getting more difficult. 
How, am I, how do I get over here? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to blow. I'm gonna have to use some dynamite. How do I use the bomb? Whoa! Whoa! I just blew myself up. That is crazy. Yeah, Am Amiga Live. What's up, dude? It's kind of a Boulder Dash game. Uh, kind of. It looks like there's more diamond in stage than required to beat it. Um. The music slightly skipping sounds made it's too fast. Is that the, the pan flute from the stop smoking demo? Maybe try to wave. Oh, you think that's water flowing through the cave. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, the music does help a lot. I agree. The flute is from one of the, the Zego G data files, sample CDs. Oh. Are you the creator of, of the game, of Roll Cake? Super Tech Boy, what is up, Super Tech Boy? Good afternoon to you. Happy New Year to you. I like I like the pan flute too. I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. Let's bomb it out. <laughs> Suicide. You think this game's running a bit too fast too? Amiga Cami, that's awesome. I'm so glad you got your 1200 going. I'm pretty watered. And I'm playing every game for 10 minutes. The water is filling up at an absurd rate. Yeah, it was super fast. But maybe it's because I, I, I hit the spigot, you know? We're going in alphabetical order too, folks. Playing every Amiga game that came out this year. Today's the grand finale. Maybe at the end of the stream, uh, we'll go through and play a couple of from earlier ones. Now, can I... Did I... Oh, oh, 10 of 25, so I need to get more, more diamonds. I, th I think I'm doomed. I think I'm done, folks. I think I'm done. Suicide. Yeah, exactly, Squee. After you drop the bomb, I should have a couple of seconds. Agreed, agreed. Very cool. I love that graphic. Alright, next up, folks. Next up is The Curse of Ravenstein. It's another, I think the Curse of Ravenstein is a text adventure. So we got one, we got one text adventure and then we, then we start to get, then we start to get into some high action stuff. We got Tiny Bobble, Tiny Galaga, Tiny Invaders, Tiny Little Slug. So, and then we got Tristam Island, another text adventure. So, um, let us, you know, I was going to skip this one uh, and just get into some hardcore action, but let's play the Curse of Ravenstein. Right, it looks like a Tiny Elf. I'm gonna let this music play for a second. Here's a link to the Curse of Ravenstein, the game we're about to play. The Curse of Ravenstein Collector's Edition Amiga Disquette. A uh, developer is Stefan Vox slash Puddle. The publisher is Polyplay System Amiga. We should try to find a place to stay for the night. The horses need a rest. Those were a coachman's last word before he disappeared without a trace. Lost deep in the black forest, you soon find out that something should remain buried forever. The Curse of Ravenstein is a new story by award-winning adventure author Stefan Vacht. 
Heavily inspired by the masterpieces from Level 9 and enhanced with stunning pixel graphics, this interactive horror will give you the shivers. Sweet! How do I pronounce it? Ravenstein. Is it Ravenstein or Ravenstein? You say Steen, I say Stein. Yeah, send me another soundbite. Rabenstein or Rabenstein? My 82 checking in. <laughs> oh, wow. Let me boot this up and then I'll, I'll look at what Rekta Pete just sent. It's pretty awesome. Try to wave which game? The one we're about to play or the one we just played? The Boulder Dash game? It's called Swedron. But I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly too. It's Polish. I should be pronouncing it right. S W I D R O N. I'll put a link to it right now. The Curse. Of Rabenstein. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. Press A key to continue. Should I put on some music? Let me put on Robbie's Robbie's mix. We'll continue with Robbie's mix. The A is like the A in another. I I the Curse of Ravenstein. September 28th, 1862. Pete, are you going to be here for 10 minutes? I'm going to check out your video as soon as I play this game. Eight minutes to be exact. September 28th, 1862. It's a long and arduous ride back from Zurich. But meeting an experienced surgeon like Dr. Atten was an interesting exchange of views and an important addition to your own medical studies. You hope to cross the Rhine in a few days and stay a little in Strasbourg. The city so beautiful and melancholic in autumn. Oh yeah, I spent I spent autumn in Germany, a little Oktoberfest in Hockenheim. Heidelberg and Hockenheim racetrack. Oh yeah. For some time now you've been passing through the Black Forest and you should have reached the tavern. The tavern of the Sad Wanderer's house hours ago. The tavern of the Sad Wanderer, I like that. <laughs> I guess that's definitely a place I could curl up with a few a few German beers. When the carriage suddenly stops in the middle of nowhere, you realize you're completely lost your way. While the coachman, obviously confused, checks his maps, you decide to stretch your legs a little, even though you're exhausted from the exertions of the journey. Famous Retro Gangster, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it very, very much. We are playing The Curse of Ravenstein. Mo and, uh, for an, another 6 minutes and 50 seconds. It's a new text adventure that came out for the Amiga computer in 2020. Thank you so much for, for the follow. Retro Gaming Daymark, you checked us out on the ZX Spectrum a few days ago. Nice. <laughs> I have, I'm not trying to wave. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, Scene Cat, what is up, my man? If you're just joining the stream, uh, we are playing every Mii game that came out in 2020, and we're down to uh, a few more left. This is the curse. The curse of Ravenstein. Uh, it's a text adventure. Um, right now, so right now we're heading back from Zurich, and our our uh, our ride stopped in the middle of the woods. We're on our way to the tavern, and the ride stopped in the middle of the woods. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like the coloration up here of this forest. And the fact that we're like in the forest with a lot of a lot of uh, fog, you know, and we're somewhere in the woods of Germany it makes me it makes me think a little bit of Deutschland by Ramstein, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> I love that video. It's so dark. <laughs> it's like the darkest video I've ever seen in my life. All right. Anyway, um, we're exhausted. Um, we got out of the, of the uh, of the coach. 
and the light of the full moon hardly penetrates the treetops, but you see enough to spot a little trail, which you decide to follow. Happy and healthy new year to you too, Scene Cat. I hope all is well, buddy. We played some awesome new demos, by the way, Scene Cat. Some really good ones. Wreck the Pete, this game is available on so many platforms. Awesome. I bet it's available on the Atari ST, Wreck the Pete. You hate text games, Pred Seda? You know, I think if the story is good, the game that I mean it's all it's all about the story, right? If you get into the story, then it's good. If you're if you're not into the story, then yeah. After a short walk, you reach a foggy clearing. The silence here is unusual. Not even an animal can be heard. Even more unusual are the two figures moving slowly in your direction. Oh my god, it's totally like the Ramstein video. Um, as they come closer, you realize these men are wearing the armor of Roman legionaries. Ah, this is a little scary. If I was in the woods and I saw some dudes in Roman armor coming at me, I, I don't know if I'd stick around. <laughs> you wave to greet them, but the stare of their dead eyes passes through you, and before you have a moment to think about what you just have seen, the mysterious encounters disappear into the forest. Well, I'm, I'm glad they're gone. They scare me. Then you feel a sudden cold reaching out, touching you with its fingers and surrounding you like an icy cloak. The temperature must have dropped rapidly by at least 10 degrees. And that's Celsius, folks. That's all, 10 degrees is a lot in Celsius. Uh, as you exhale, a cloud of condensed air forms. It can't be. What's happening to you here? You run back to the carriage as fast as your legs carry you, still gasping for air. You make a short run back to the carriage. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, you run back to the carriage as fast as your legs can carry you, still gasping for air. You make a short approach to talk about the incident, but then decide against it. The coachman would not believe you anyway, and so fate takes its course. Press A key to continue. Good old Castle Master, right? You don't like the music stepping out? Great retro gaming demo. Do you love text adventures? I should play more text adventures. You know what it is? The music doesn't match the game. <laughs> but the music's awesome. It's a gift from Robbie Abbott. The Forsaken Path. You are standing on a path deep in the Black Forest, extending further north from here. On a night like this, the trees cast haunting shadows and people disappear without ever being seen again. Yikes. You notice a carriage, two horses, and the coachman. Look. Look at the carriage. Not the best carriage, but it brought you here. Talk. The coachman looks worried. The road seems to lead to a village, even though I don't see it on our maps. Anyway, we must find a place to stay for the night. The horses need a rest. Will you go there while I watch the carriage? And please be careful. I don't care much about old wives' tales, but the locals avoid this area. They say it's haunted. Okay, go north. Dude, I like the pixel art a lot. Yeah, I'm just listening to the music. Uh, this is Ravi Avis mix. The music's got nothing to do with the game. I just, during my streams, I like to have some kind of music on playing if it's like the quietness freaks me out. <laughs> the music is coming from Castle Master. It's Ravi's mix right now. The art is beautiful, exactly. The village is characterized by its picturesque center, where beautiful half-timbered houses are illuminated by the moon and the leaded windows of the inn to the north reflect the glow of a cozy fire. To the east there's a stable and to the west you can see a church. Southwards you may return to the forest. You notice a well and a locked stable door. Look. Well. It's just an ordinary well. Um. I want to go to the inn, go north. Very nice. The large fireplace spreads a pleasant heat and brightness the room with warm colors. Comfortable seats invite you to linger. There's a beautifully decorated counter near the staircase to the upper floor and a door to the south that leads outside. You notice the innkeeper, a group of villagers, and a warm fireplace. Talk innkeeper. 
That wouldn't help you much. Talk villagers. There's nothing like a drink and a good story, but at the moment you have other priorities. Later, however, a conversation with the villagers could be very useful. Interesting hint there. Go upstairs. No, okay, look fireplace. The fire burns and crackles, excellent. Yo, Mutation Software, welcome. You're not late, Mutation Software, because one of the games I'm playing today, we're going in alphabetical order. We will be playing Wiz. We'll be playing Wiz shortly. Well, not shortly, probably in like an hour or so. Wiz. Coming up soon. All right, so there it is, The Curse of Ravenstein. Very, very cool. I posted the link into into the, the chat for y'all. Y'all get it in the Amiga Bell goodie bag. Um, very cool stuff, folks. Let's see what Wreck the Pete sent. And then we have to do a giveaway. Tiny Bobble is up next, folks. Now we're going to get into some action games. Tiny Bobble, Tiny Galaga, Tiny Invaders, and Tiny Little Slug. Here's Wreck to Pete's basement. Wreck to Pete writing some code. Oh, look at that Commodore Amiga logo. It says Am Amiga Drools. No, 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 Wreck to Pete. I think it was supposed to say something different. I think it, <laughs> Atari Rules, Amiga Drools. No, no. Oh, Wreck to Pete, them's fighting words, Wreck to Pete. Them is fighting words, Wreck to Pete. Coming in here, coming into this Amiga stream, talking smack. Oh, man. Oh, that Wreck to Pete, seriously, that, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a cool little demo you made there, Wreck to Pete. Respect, respect. Locust, you love the goodie bag? Thank you. Haltosis, only Amiga makes it possible. You know it, Haltosis. This is an act of war. I agree, Simon69 Twitch. I agree. All right, folks, we're gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away a copy of Amiga, Amiga Addict Magazine. Um, let me go to AmigaAddict.com. You can do exclamation mark um, magazine in the chat. Here is Amiga Addict. Uh, issue two is now um, being is now in the works. I saw them post the covered issue two. Not as good as the covered issue one, but good. <laughs> um, definitely go. But seriously, Amiga Addict is an amazing new magazine. Uh, it's a really cool magazine, like for the Amiga community, by the Amiga community. I'm super lucky to be on the cover of issue number one. That's just amazing. I can't wait to get my copy. Oh my god, I can't wait, but I feel like it's going to be like another month before I get it because the postal system is terrible. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna uh, raffle off a digital copy of this issue number one that's got an article with me in it. It's got DJ Nest in it. It's got some really great people in it. Dave Haney, Kim Justice, um, all sorts of good stuff. So I'm going to I'm gonna raffle off. 417, um, let's play some Hoffman music. Nifrik says nothing can top that issue number one cover. Oh, you're too kind, dude. Ha! <laughs> Did my mother ever think I'd be on the cover of a magazine with the name Addict in it? I, I don't think so, Lord Squeak. <laughs> Thank you, Retro Gaming Denmark. You're super, super kind. Shadow Panda, what's up, Shadow Panda? Haltosis, you thought it might blow up? I'm gonna put on some Hoffman, folks, and we're gonna do a giveaway. Thank you, Ravi, for the tunes.
I started the stream with Hoffman, so today's a Hoffman a Hoffman kind of kind of day. He goes to the hippo player. Let's do uh Calm Before the Storm. That sounds good. Remind me to turn that countdown timer back on. Alright, folks, here's how it's gonna go down. Let me uh, switch over to here. I'm gonna start up the, the raffle. Uh let me log into my nightbot. Marlon Brando, Billy Winters on the cover of magazine, hilarious. Do I realize I'm now a cover girl because you don't think there's such thing as a cover boy? Oh, I'm a cover boy, baby. Oh yeah, you know it. No drug like Amiga, exactly, poetic Android. Um, 17 Petro, do I have Hoffman and Day Tripper? I sure do. I'll play it. You know, you requested it, I do it. Let's do a giveaway. So everyone, um, so I'm gonna say subscribers are three more times lucky to win and regular. So even if you're not a subscriber, if you're a regular here, you can win it. Um, basically, there's gonna be a keyword and all you have to do is enter the letters AA in the chat. AA in the chat. Super Tech Boy, I'll sign, I'll, super, I'll sign the cover if you want. Now, I, what, the one thing I will say is if you already have the magazine, uh, maybe, you know, give someone else a chance to win it. Um, but everyone's welcome to join the, the, uh, the giveaway. Everyone's welcome to join, but, you know, if you already have it, maybe let someone else, give someone else a chance to win. It's AA, you don't have to, it does, caps don't matter. It's AA. Lowercase AA or uppercase AA. Everyone, anyone who's in the chat right now types in AA is eligible to win, uh, but the subscribers and regulars do have a little bit extra luck. I'll, um, lift my desk back. See, I, full, full transparency here, folks. This is how it's going down. It's 421. I'm, I'm, I'm late. I'm late to the, uh, I'm always a little bit late. AA in the chat, everyone. Nice to meet you live. Oh, Rom, you're waiting on yours. Oh, Rom, you should be able to download a digital edition. You're funny to me, alive. BB. <laughs> Amiga Live, I know some folks in the USA. I think Tenmark got his copy. I didn't get my copy. Mutation Software says that um, there's still a few still have not had the Wiz Big Glossy Box arrive yet. Inclu Mutation, I didn't get my box yet either. The post is slow. Dude, the post is ridiculously slow, Mutation Software. You hate rap music, but if it's Amiga Raps, everything's forgiven. Nice, Pred Zeta. The one you purchased for Greece arrived. Nice, dude. All right, folks, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it. We got a lot of games, um, a lot of games to play. AA in the chat. If you want, if you want to be in it to win it, AA in the chat. And I'm gonna send you a link as soon as the the raffle's over. So uh, you know, I'll pull it at 4:23. According to VHS cam, we have 20 seconds. AA in the chat. No worries, Captain Crunch. 490. Great to see you. Yeah, Oram, I agree. There's nothing's better than the physical edition. I agree. All right, here we go, folks. Five seconds. AA in the chat. Good luck to everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll it. And the winner is Zarkus. Zarkus. Congratulations, you have won the last digital copy I have of Amiga Addicts Magazine. Huge congrats. Let me, let me make a, uh, let me, let me make a, uh, something for him here. So, how, how can I find him? There he is. Whisper. Sarkis, right now I want to make a whisper. There he is, Zarkus. All right, I'm going to 
Yeah, okay, we're safe. Let me, I'm gonna generate a link for you, Zarkus. Congratulations on the win. I'm just making a link here for Zarkus. <laughs> last, what about my addiction? Hilarious. <laughs> Who, you know what? Maybe it won't be the last copy I give away. Maybe, maybe I'll give away another one. Uh, let me just send him this link. Congrats. Zarkus, check your whispers. I just sent you uh, a link to the magazine. Congratulations. Enjoy, enjoy. Manafe, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. We got a lot of games to play here, folks. Let's take a look. Thank you all for watching today. Thank you all for your support. It's a pleasure, pleasure to have you all here on my first stream of the year. Super, super exciting. Um, next up is Tiny Bobble. It's like Bubble Bobble. Here's a link to Tiny Bobble. You're welcome, Zacharis. Enjoy, enjoy the magazine. Luka Lou, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Sakanaka, what is up, dude? Great to see you. Um, Stuart Johnson, is there a place to, to download the Hoffman mods? I would go, yes, modules.pl. I'll send you there in a second. Um, so here's Tiny Bobble. <laughs> you can go to modules.pl or you can PM me. <laughs> Stuart Johnson. <laughs> Whichever one you want to do. But let's let's plug modules.pl. I love modules.pl. Modules.pl is uh, Ace Man site. And it's, it's, uh, it's a great place to download mods. And Ace Man is a great guy. Uh, one of my favorite people in the community. I'll show you right here. Um, there's modules.pl right there. I actually think this is where I downloaded all of them. I actually think that's where I downloaded all these Hoffman mods. All right, let me check this. So Tiny Bobble is an ADF file, so let's reboot. I'm gonna turn, uh, I gotta turn the counter back on. Manifet, you never had an Amiga, but it was a great system and I love Bubble Bobble on the 64 and nice dude. Owl Gamers TV. What is up, Owl Gamers TV? Yeah, Retro Gaming Denmark. This was a gift. This was a gift to me uh, from one of my, my VIPs. Um, this is from Milo Loves Chocolate. I didn't open it because it's a special vegan wine that he got for me and my wife because my wife's vegan. So I'm going to wait to open it because I want to experience it with her, you know. I don't want to just, like, drink it all on my own. It's a special one for her. Uh, push one or two player button. Uh, one. Start one player game. Now it is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let's make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. Pixel, Pixel F242. I have the countdown. Because I have to play 14 games today, and I would, I would, I would literally like never finish the stream if I don't time myself. Because I get, I get too excited about these games. <laughs> I get too excited about the games, and I end up playing too long. I would never get through 14 games if I don't have a timer. So I'm playing each one for 10 minutes. These old games are getting much improved. Totally. The music is so much better than the NES version. Yeah, Retro Gaming Denmark is a super nice gift from Milo. What a, what a good, I'm, I'm blown away by the gift. Oh, jeez, terrible. <laughs> well, that was a terrible gameplay. You wish someone to read my Final Flight? This is Arcade Perfect? Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Jiro, you love this game? Nice, dude. You remember playing this in the Commodore 64 your father who died in 2020? Oh, Manafe, I'm so sorry. And your cousin. You were the bubble, bubble queen? Manafe, I'm so sorry. I, you know, 
It's it's real. I know I know I have two other very good close friends of mine who lost their dads in 2020 as well. I'm really really sorry. Thank you. Thank. I'm trying to be organized. I'm not that organized. I just pretend I'm organized. <laughs> but if I didn't have the timer, I would be. I, I would never get through it. You love this franchise and it's a great version of the music, stop it now. Nice. The music brings back so many memories for you, Maya. Nice. On the Amiga, time goes by too fast, exactly. Really interesting to see it running at full frame rate on the Amiga. I'm used to the old software creation support that ran at 25 hertz. Yikes. Yeah, we're playing at 50, baby. 50. Now, I am streaming at 60, but it's, it's you know, I'm playing at 25, so the 60 takes care of that. Now, why do I stream at 60? Because all my cameras, I'm in NTSC world, and my cameras run at 60 hertz. And this is also written in C. It sure shows. Thank you. Thank you, Nivrig. If I, if I miss anyone's uh, in chat, just do add Amiga Bill. Manifane. Manife, um Sorry about that. Um, but like I said, I have two other... I'm really sorry about your dad. Like, I, I, I have two other really good friends who lost their dads in 2020 as well. Freaking... It's awful. Did I even say... I, I thought I... I didn't even realize I said it. Sorry. <laughs> Math08. Thank you so much for following Math08. The original Amiga, Rekta Pete said the original Amiga version of this game was a port from the ST. It was, it was good at the time, but this is an amazing redo. Yeah, Pixel, the music is way better than the originals. Great game, it is a great game. You love spin-offs like the Parasol Stars, Rainbow Islands, Puzzle Bobble, Liquid Kids, and New Zealand Story. Nice. Get the yellow candy. Thanks, Amiga Live. Ms. DK, you're awesome, dude. Metro Siege is going to be awesome, try to wave. 3D Code Warrior, what is up, 3D Code Warrior? Yeah, I think it is a total conversion. Iraq, yeah, I'll be playing Wiz soon. I'm gonna try and hammer through these games. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around anymore. <laughs> 14 games to play today, folks. Uh, John says when played with two players, the game has unlimited credits. Yeah, Amiga Cami, I'm still looking forward to Metro Siege. I want to play the um, uh. I also want to try out the, the version of um, Final Fight that someone just did like a fan port of Final Fight. I want to see that too. Amiga Live said this was ported without using any source code. missing a few minor features from the arcade, Nibring says. I'm playing it so poorly. <laughs> I want to spell that extra, get that extra. Oh, 
Oh, Pixel, Pixel, thank you, Pixel. I, I appreciate it. I try, I try. I, it's hard, though. It's, it's hard. Uh, I'm lucky. There's so many awesome people come here. Sometimes I miss messages, you know? So if you, if I, if you say something and I miss it, um, definitely do at Amiga Bill and I can see it better. Haltosis. Oh, yeah. I've got, I've got a mister right here. I got my mister right here. I got my mister from RetroBench.com. My, my headphones keep falling off. It's so hard to hear the mix. Um, yeah, I got my mister from RetroBench.com. Uh, Amigaville patrons, man, they get 10% off RetroBench.com. So if you're going to make a big purchase like, uh, like a mister, it pays to be an Amigaville patron. <laughs> but most importantly, man, I just want to thank RetroBench. Uh, so much for the support. It's incredible. Retrobench is an amazing place. Head to retrobench.com and uh, you can buy buy Mister. I, I love the Mister. I, Stuart, I don't know, man. I, I try and read the chat, but it, it, sometimes I miss. But you know what? It's good. I'd rather the chat be busy and have me miss than 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 not. AGA is going out of style. Yeah, oh, dude. Um, Metro Siege. I mean, it looks so good. Like you don't need AGA. You know what I mean? One minute, 12 seconds left. Oh, the bubble pushed me into that. <laughs> You're a legend, Mutation Software. Mutation Software, you see, you saw I got it, right? I got my Wiz poster ready to go. Of course, Wiz will be one of the last games we play today because I'm going in alphabetical order. I would love to try this version two player. Andy Beeston, you like the music better than the game? The game is fun to play though. But the music is awesome, I, I agree. George, you rock, my man. Ugh, George, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Great to see you, man. It is a good game, I agree. I hope the mix is alright. I can't hear anything because of the way my headphones sit on my head with this hat on. Oh, time's up, folks. Time to move to the next game. <laughs> Wreck the Pete makes a good point. Uh, the best thing about Bubble Bobble is the music. The worst thing about it is the music. It stays with you all day. That's hilarious. Retro Gaming Denmark says, This game was very acceptable. Even on 8-bit platforms, everyone was just happy to get home ports. The mix is good. Thank you, 17-bit retro. I'm just going vis I'm by visuals. You're playing this on the original DMG Game Boy? Nice. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Enemy 7, you can play two players. Yes, you can. Alright, what's up next, uh, what's up next, folks? Oh, this is one of my favorites. Up next, we're gonna play another free game that came out. It's called Tiny Galaga. I just put the link into the chat. Tiny Galaga, it's like, um, it's a black and white version of Galaga that came out this year. It is freaking awesome. I love I, Galaga is one of my all-time favorite games, and I, I love the fact that it's not like an arcade perfect version. It's like an interpretation of the arcade, which is super, super cool. Um, let me check and see. Uh, Tiny Galaga is on my hard drive, so I got to reboot. You love multiplayer games, yeah? Do Andy Me Seven? Then you know we play the multi the multiplayer games on um, at, at Wog meetings. It's the best, the best. Oh, and this is also available on Amiga Live. Tiny Galaga's or Tiny Bobble. Tiny Bobble is oh cool. Oh dude, I gotta play it. I gotta play it on Amiga Live. Amiga Live. <laughs> 
Again, sorry, I know I was in the heat of battle, but Math08 and Manafe, thank you so much for the follows. And famous uh, retro gangster, welcome. Uh, I'm Bill, and I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. That's New York City time where I am. Um, it's 7 p.m. UTC and 8 p.m. Central European time. Uh, and yeah, I also have a YouTube channel do with my buddy Anthony called The Guru Meditation, exclamation mark, guru in the chat. Um, and you know, I like to play new Amiga games. I like to play classic Amiga games and I love interviewing people, man. I, I love interviewing people. It's my favorite, favorite part of the stream. Wreck to Pete was a guest on my stream. A lot of folks who are in the chat right now were guests on my stream. Um, uh, I love interviewing developers and yeah, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Thanks Andy Beast in UK. Mutation 2020 was a rubbish year, but good year for Amiga games. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. You want a link for the mister? Sure. Um, do I have a retro right there? And the cool thing about buying the Mister from Retrobench is that it, he sells it with legal Amiga ROMs. So when you buy from Retrobench, you get it pre-configured like with Workbench. So like you're good to go like right out of the box. You don't have to worry about installing Workbench or the ROMs or anything like that. It's all pre-configured for you and it's all done legally, which is really cool. Pred Seda, you've got ten. You've got ten bubble bobbles. Nice. Here we go. Tiny. See, this this is one of these games where I could just get sucked in. If I don't put myself on the timer, forget about it. I I love Galaga so much. <laughs> My, my pleasure, uh, Pixelot. In a galaxy far away. No Star Wars reference there. <laughs> oh, I, I killed them all by accident. I love these little power-ups you get. Oh, I shouldn't have killed that guy. I need... I like to leave... I leave the ones that, like... That, that, um, suck you in, and so you can get the double player. There we go. Now we get the double. Now we get double guns. I'm gonna get double ships. That's the, that's the key to getting high scores in Galaga. You need the double ship. Here we go. Now we can kick some butt. And, oh yeah, so I, I forget, if you spell a word down there, you get some bonuses. Totally not Star Wars music. Yo, so on New Year's Eve, uh, me and and uh, my wife, we we watched all season two of The Mandalorian. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was so good. Make Star Wars great again. It was amazing. The double ship feature is is the key to getting a high score in Galaga. Oh, the little rascal. So many games with the word tiny uh, in it this year for Amiga. We got Tiny Bobble, Tiny Galaga, Tiny Invaders, and Tiny Little Slug. You love this art style, Voxel Trap? It's so good. I love it too. It's, it's such a cool game. Build the pro strats. <laughs> oh, yeah, you spell bonus, of course. I wasn't very good at the old Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Pred Seda says, Tiny Little Slug is game of the year for him. Um, I, I, in my, you know, in my opinion, there were like three AAA games that came out this year for the Amiga. Tiny Little Slug, Wiz, uh, and Rotator. They're all so different. I think picking Tiny Little Slug as the game of the year is a very valid choice. I could... It, you know, it's so... I could go whiz. Uh, they're all so good. Endless Kev. Thank you for the follow, Endless Kev. Welcome to the stream. Right now, I'm playing Tiny Galaga. We're playing every Amiga game that came out in 2020. Over three streams. Today is the last stream. I'm doing them in alphabetical order. And we're, we're down to the T's. But a lot of T's. There are a lot of T games. Oh, man. A lot of T games came out for Amiga this year. A lot of Tiny games. Four games with the word Tiny in it. Unbelievable. This is Tiny Galaga. Next up is Tiny Invaders, which is uh, made by the same folks and a Space Invaders clone. 
Dadler TL, what is up? It looks like a high res handle. I don't think that is in high res actually, because I don't see the flicker. But I could I could be wrong about that. Normally a high res games drive my capture card nuts. Or oh, maybe it's high res, just not interlaced. That's probably what it is. But I love this game. It's really well optimized. I love this game so much. What a great homage, yeah, totally. Maybe they'll be tiny awesome. <laughs> I, the, the artwork in this game is awesome. You know, I love the shadows too. The shadows are super cool. Definitely has some serious like Game Boy vibes. <laughs> what is the word tiny signifying? I think that's a small, a small game. A small version of the game. Just make sure that your Greek stick isn't tiny. <laughs> The Greek, I was just gonna say the Greek stick is treating me well right now. I'm switching over to the Monster Mini after after this game. My two favorite joysticks, the Greek stick and the Monster Mini. No official Galaga for the Amiga, but the Deluxe Galaga, which is amazing. Yeah, Deluxe Galaga is amazing uh, by Edgar Vigal and Amiga Kami. I love that one, but I, I gotta be honest, this, this Galaga is fantastic too. Oh, jeez. Terrible there, folks. Terrible. Four minutes left. 594 hit. Ooh, that was bad. Uh, A, B. Oh, psh, I meant ABL. Oh well. I love this game so much. It's got the dot matrix feel, totally. Yeah. This game is so much fun. I could play this game so long. Step, what you like about the black and white is you can clearly see the enemies. Totally. I'm being very careful here. I don't want to shoot the, the dudes that pick me up because I want that second one. Yo, Smash1980, thank you so much for the host, Smash. Yeah, so the ones that pick you up are up there on the top, and I definitely don't want to shoot them. I want them to get me. Uh, I just shot one by accident. I just shot another one by accident. Bill, come on. Don't shoot your friends. Last time we got some better RNG. Come on, capture me. Capture me. There we go. There we go. No, now we can kick some butt. Now we got double fire. Double fire action coming up, folks. This game is also great for, for colorblind. Oh, I can I can imagine, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yo, no worries, Smash1980. Thank you so much for just for hanging out, lurking, it's all good. You know, yo, Arcade AG Day, AJD. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Arcade and fellow raiders. Uh, we are playing every Ami game that came out in 2020 in alphabetical order. We are down to the T's. And this is Tiny Galaga. One of my favorite games. The welcome, rate PS4 Beats, what is up? Great to see you. Um, Perio Narasala, what is up, Perio? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name properly. Um, Arcade AGD, how's it going? Uh, yo, can one of, can one of the, the mods shout out Arcade AGD? Because I'm in a, like a freaking intense game right now. Thank you so much for the raid, and welcome, Raiders. It's a pleasure to have you here. Pete, okay, there you go. You love seeing me on Sunday, it always makes you smile. Aw, oh, that's too kind. I, I appreciate that. Here we go. Sorry my headphones are falling off. I can't hear the mix good. So any anyone that's a, a mod, that's, that's any of my VIPs, you can do exclamation mark SO and then put in Arcade AJD's name and it'll shout him out, give a link to his channel. I can't do it right now, man. I'm trying to save the world. <laughs> there, thank you, Amiga Live. Thank you, Amiga Live. Appreciate it. Amiga Life coming through in the clutch. Yeah, I'm in the zone. You know what retro gaming demo? I get so into these games. Oh, see? 
I, I broke my concentration there, but that's okay because I only got a minute left. And then we go on to Tiny Invaders. Galaga is one of my all-time, all my all-time favorites. I love simple shooters, man. They're the best. Galaga. I like Galaga. I like Miss Pac-Man. Pixel F, take care. Thank you for hanging out today. It was a pleasure to have you. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great uh, first week of the year. Thank you for stopping by. You're mainly PS4, but try a regular Amiga stream on Friday. Nice. Nice. Oh, you want to. Here, here's here's a, here's a word of advice. Don't start streaming Amiga because you'll never pick up your PS4 ever again. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. So if you play PS4, I hope, I hope you play the new Shadow of the Beast. Well, not new. It's not new anymore. I think it came out in 2017. It's really good. It's really, really good. PS4 Beats, thank you for the follow. I really like the new, the new Shadow of the Beast game that came out. I think they did a great job with it. And you can play the classic Amiga version too with that release. I, I, you know it, Amiga Love. I should be playing for the, my, my second ship right now, but being that I have 30 seconds left. The horse! What's up, horse? Happy New Year to you! Oh, horse, I was using my Riot Retro Gaming mug yesterday um, to drink my morning coffee. I love my Riot Retro Gaming mug. Happy New Year to you, my man. Jowl, uh, Galgo is one of the first arcade games you played when you came to the UK. Nice! Oh man, we're out of time. Out of time. Thank you, Tiny Galaga. Awesome game. I dude, this is one of my all this is one of my favorite games of the year. Uh Nivrig said Windows-based Amiga C cross development environment used to make these tiny games. Oh ver dude, I wonder if I can save that link. I'm gonna open that up. Thank you, thank you, Nivrig. Nivrig also made one of my favorite games of the year. Um Santa Rocks and Dodgy Rocks. Again, simple, vertical, and awesome. I love these games. Dude, this music is great. All right, I right. let's um let's bring this up. Next up is Tiny Invaders by the same folks who did Tiny Galaga. Tiny Invaders. Uh, there's a link to where you can download it on Poet. I'm dropping that into the chat right now. C64 Television loved the Santa games from Nivrig. Nice. Uh, have I ever tried good old Viper? I don't think I ever tried Viper, Simon69 Twitch. What's this? Oh, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious, Pixel at Dawn Gaming. You feel like a 10-year-old again? That's 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 what we try and do here. Perio, I love it. I love the, I love this music. Um oh let me check the database. I mean let me check the spreadsheet here. Uh, Tiny Invaders is on my hard drive, so can I? Escape out of it? We'll have to reboot. Escape, F1, delete, F10, print screen. No, I gotta do a reboot. Tiny Invaders is up next, everyone. Perio, have a great night. Thank you for hanging out today. We're cranking through the games. Uh, hope you enjoyed your time here. Have a great week, Perio. Remind me, I gotta re I'll reset the, the counter. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna play a little music too because I need to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> I, I uh, PS4 Beats, you're gonna. You're gonna have a very good stream. Awesome, yeah, dude. Awesome, yeah. I drank so much coffee this morning. Uh, I am. Uh, I drank too much coffee. A little too much coffee. Oh, you're out of here. PS4. PS4 beats. Take care and thank you so much for the follow. PS4 beats. I appreciate it very much. You're you're awesome, Purio. You're the best. Thank you th for the kind words. Amiga Phil. Let's put the hippo player. I'll be really quick. Put on a little Eon. A little Eon while I use the restroom. I'll be right back.
So good. Yeah, this so this is the sound the the music to one of the best demos ever for Amiga. Best Amiga demo of all time. It's, you know, it could definitely be in the running. Freaking Eon. Eon rules. I know, right? Normally, be going to Amiga Ireland now. Normally, uh, on this day, uh, Pred Zeta, I would be at MAGFest in Washington, D.C., which is one of my favorite events of the year. But, you know, not going to happen. Yo, Kalor. Thank you. Thank you, Kalor. It's a pleasure to have you, Kalor. Thank you for stopping in. I had to take off the hat because I just, I can't, like, the headphones just aren't working with the hat. Um, so, we're going to play Tiny Galaga now. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. It's just been. A pleasure to have you all here. We're going to make it through all these games, all 14 games. It's pretty pretty epic, you know, 14 games in one stream. I think it's the most I ever did. That's a good way to start 2021. And then next week, I think, uh, next week's going to be a little bit more of a chill stream. I, like, I want to bring out objects. I want to spin some vinyl. Um, I got uh, some new, some new. I got a new vinyl, a new vinyl of um, Cannon Fodder for Christmas I want to play for you all. I want to show you some cool pickups I got. So I think it's going to be kind of like a uh, chill out stream. Um, well, I'm not gonna have all the pressure. <laughs> not all the pressure of playing all the games. Uh, Tiny Gal was amazing. Tiny Invaders is up now, followed by Tiny Little Slug. Pred State is game of the year. Uh, definitely one of the, the AAA games to come out this year. Tiny Invaders is not AAA, but it's triple awesome. And Dodgy Rocks is AAA for triple addictive. Created by Pink and Abyss, the same folks that made the last game that we played, Tiny Invaders. Um, Wreck the Pete, thank you so much for the sub, Wreck the Pete. You're the man, thank you. Um, Wreck the Pete's getting that Amiga Bill goodie bag. You know Wreck the Pete is gonna, dude, he's gonna love the Amiga Bill goodie bag. He's gonna love it. He's gonna put the goodie bag right next to his Atari ST. He's gonna put it right next to that Falcon. He's gonna have that goodie bag sitting there. <laughs> thank you, Wreck the Pete. You rock, dude. And uh, I'm playing now with the Monster Joystick. The Monster Joystick and the Greek Stick are my two favorite joysticks. Love them. This is the Monster Mini. So the cool thing about this game is, yo, Pixels at Dawn Gaming, thank you for giving out a gifted sub to Arcade AJD. Um, the cool thing about this version of the game is you can like, uh, you get power-ups. You can see the power-ups there on the bottom. Super cool. So, it, it, and I love the colors. I love the, like the, um, dude, the coloration on the enemies is, is fantastic. I love how it goes from like the blues to the pinks on the top. It's freaking awesome. Here we go. I can, let's get this power. 
get it. Got it. Speed up. Sure, I'll take it. So when you get the power up, you press down on the joystick, and that activates your power. Wreck the P, thanks for the, the sub, buddy. I appreciate it. Recta, can't wait to hang, man. We got we got so much business to take care of. What do you think, Recta? Do, I, I, what do you think about VCF East? Are you thinking it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna kind of be like v, VCF East 2020? You know, like partially virtual. I think maybe you know. We'll see. Only time will tell, Recta. These tiny games are freaking fantastic this year. This is a year of tiny games. Yeah, I'll take an extra bullet. There we go. Extra bullet means you can like fire twice. Even though you can fire twice, doesn't mean I could hit them. I should have went for that spaceship. All right, I'm gonna wait for these guys to come around in the center. I'm just gonna take them out. Here they come. Goodbye. Boom. Owned it. Venginator. It's a beautiful game, right? I love the the stars in the background. Um, I love the uh, the colors are just awesome. I love the coloration. These guys have a really they're really talented artists. The fact that they could make like a black and white game like the Tiny Galaga that we just played look that good. And uh, it just looks awesome. It, you know what it reminds me of? You know what uh, in uh, in the arcade they have the Space Invaders with like the the colored backdrop. It looks it looks a lot like that. You know? Oh man, see that is the problem. I went for the power up and I died. I'm gonna wait and get an extra ship. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look out for that guy. Get the extra ship. Come now the trick with the extra ship is I'm just gonna I just focus on my regular ship. Because if I start looking at both ships, it's just too much for my brain to handle. Too much to process. Fire twice, miss twice, you know it, Nivrig. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't carry over to the next phase? Oh, well. Uh, I gotta go clean these guys up over here. Boom! Oh, yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Jiro says, um, oh, I, you know, I, there was some kind of, I remember there was some kind of anomaly where it, it kind of crashed sometimes. What we're seeing now, colors of black and white isn't important because the games are great in both versions. Agreed, agreed. Yo, Ash said hi. Ash, welcome to the stream. Whoa. Wait a minute. Dude, mutation software. Mutation software, amazing. Thank you for gifting out those subscriptions. That's awesome. Mutation software, the creator of one of the AAA games that came out this year, um, Wiz, which we're going to play very soon. As soon as we get through the T's, we'll get to the W's. Wiz, one of the best games to come out this year, too. Um, thank you for gifting out those subscriptions, Mutation. You're too kind, dude. That is awesome. Thank you. And speaking of awesome people, Ash said hi. Welcome to the stream. If anyone has any powers, can you do it? Shout out Ash said hi. One of the, the best streamers here on Twitch. One of my best friends, Ash Rules. Ash, if you want some good vibes, you're feeling, feeling a little bit down, just tune into an Ash said hi stream, and you're going you're gonna to feel great. Thank you so much, Ash. Uh, for that mutation software, you're too kind. I can't wait, dude, I can't wait to get the whiz box. I'm dying for it, can't wait. Ash, I hope you're doing great. Happy New Year, Ash. Ash, see, talk about having guests on. Ash, Ash also a guest uh, on one of my streams this year. It was an epic one. We got her dad's Amiga 500 up and running. Uh, her dad's spirit lives on in the Amigas. It was beautiful, it was beautiful. You're still great? Awesome, Ash. So, so all the awesome people who Mutation Software just gifted the sub to, they're going to get the Amiga Bell goodie bag. They're going to get in the credits. They're, they they got so much awesome stuff. Um, thank you for your support, Mutation Software. You're, you're too kind. If you guys want to like jump in before I start playing Wiz, Mutation Software, drop like drop a link to your site where they can buy Wiz in the chat. Wiz won the AAA games to come out for the Amiga this year. Like I was saying, I think there's three AAAs that came out this year. 
Wiz, um, Tiny Little Slug, which we're playing next, and um, and Rotator. But just because the other games aren't AAA doesn't mean they're not triple fun. Like I was saying, like simple and fun, simple games are sometimes the best. And um, Nivrig's game, the Nivrig's dodgies, they're like triple, triple addictive, triple A, triple addictive. Tiny Galaga, super addictive too. Uh oh, I'm in trouble here, folks. Uh oh. Got him. Got him. Yo, Parlink, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Stuart Johnson loves Dodgy Rocks. I love it too. Dodgy, you know, Dodgy Rocks is so much fun. That could be game of the year too. I'm not going to pick a game of the year just because I don't like to compare games. They're so, like, how do you compare like a platformer to a shooter? I don't, know. I don't like, I just, I don't like to pick game of the year. That's why I want to play all the games, so you can see all all games, and then you can choose for yourself. I, and to be honest, like that Curse of Ravenstein, like I was getting into that. That was very very cool. Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, Jowl. The, the arcade, the classic arcade games are what I can play the best, um, just because I'm old. <laughs> and I and on stream, I don't have to, I don't have to like think too hard, you know. I can just like shoot stuff. There we go. Nice. Owned it. What I missed. Yo, TMBTH, thank you so much for the subscription. Hi Times 876. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hi Times, we gave away we gave away a brand new Amiga magazine at 420 p.m. today. You never know. I, I give away a lot of stuff at 420 p.m. on my streams, Hi Times, so be sure to tune in at 420. I know, I know you will. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I appreciate it. If you're new to my streams, I'm Bill, and I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's New York City time, uh, where I am. Uh, and that translates to 7 p.m. UTC and 8 p.m. Central European time. I can own in it! Dude, I, I just, I gotta get in the right mindset. I gotta take on the champion Jiro. I gotta take on champion Jiro in the, in the Dodgy Rocks competition in Amiga Ireland. Oh. The new Amiga Mag you can get in the UK. Exactly, Arcade J JDD. Don't brag there, you're older. Oh, Sep, no worries, dude. <laughs> you want to see a good Dig Dug? Nice. I owned it. You know what? I'm gonna. I love this game so much, but I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna move on. Charnade, Tiny Joust would be awesome. Exactly. Um, thank you for the hype train, TMBTH. Um, thank you for the sub, dude. I appreciate your support so much. Thank you. Uh, high times. You had a Commodore 128. Great computer. High times. Great computer. Um, if you check out the YouTube channel that I, I have, my buddy Anthony Guru. We have um, we have an interview. Uh, Bill Hurd is a good friend of the Vintage Computer Federation, and he hangs out at Vintage Computer Festival East a lot. And we have a good interview with Bill Hurd. He's the designer of, of the Commodore 128, so you might want to check that out. Really great guy. He's got an awesome channel too. Uh, he's on uh, his YouTube. He does awesome stuff on YouTube. All right, let's see what's next. I think Tiny Little Slug is next, folks. By my calculation, Tiny Little Slug is next. Yo, uh, Mutation Software, if you have to go, I'll skip to W's. I'll skip to Wiz. Um, Tiny Little Slug is next. Here's the link to Tiny Little Slug. It's uh, sponsored by Amiga Future Magazine. Another, dude, Amiga Future, I know everyone's hyped about Amiga Act, and I'm, I couldn't be more hyped. They put me on the cover. But Amiga Future has been a great magazine for many, many years, and it's, I love Amiga Future. It's a fantastic magazine. So here's the link to Tiny Little Slug. Uh, Tiny Little Slug is an amazing game. I, I love I love Tiny Little Slug. Um, we're gonna we're gonna play it now. You're welcome. Uh, you're welcome, Stuart Johnson. Ace Man runs modules.pl, and he's a really good friend of mine and amazing amazing person in the Amiga community. SR Baker got an Amiga Future sub for Christmas. Nice, dude. You'll love it. Amiga Future is fantastic. Right on, Arcade AJD. Thanks for for uh, stopping by. Pixels at Dawn Gaming says, uh, we love all the Amiga Mags at Amiga Addict, the more the merrier. See, exactly. Amiga Addict, I mean, Amiga Mag, Amiga Addict is the, the Amiga, um, 
magazine for Amiga fans by Amiga fans. Of course, of course, they're gonna like other mag magazines. Sad boy, thank you for the follow, sad boy. See, Rec to Pete is a regular at VCF East. He said Bill Hurt told me a funny story about how Commodore borrowed the lower, the lowercase letters for the Commodore 64 from the ROMs they were making for the Atari 400-800. Oh, that's hilarious. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, 17-bit retro. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed. Thank you for hanging out, 17-bit retro. I appreciate it. Have a great night. All right, let's see. Let's. How do I get out of this? I think I've got to reboot. I'm pretty. Oh wait, this tiny. I think tiny little slug is on hard drive. I gotta check my. Um, let me check my spreadsheet. Tiny little slug. Oh, there's a hard drive version and an, and a floppy version. So you know what? I'm booting up from hard drive now. We'll play it off the hard drive. Most of the games you played were in Commodore 64 mode. Yeah, yeah. Later, 17-bit retro. Thanks for hanging out, dude. And thank you for the follow, sad boy. If you're new to my streams and you're just tuning in, welcome. Uh, we are playing every Amiga game that came out in 2020. There, so let's see, I have 40, let's see, desktop full screen. So I've got 40 lines here, and this is minus one, minus two, because that game's not out, minus three, minus four. So there was 36 games came out for the Amiga in 2020, 36. And here we are, we're, we're down here at Tiny Little Slug. We're working our way down to Zigred. All right, tiny little slug, running without Mike Tyson now. <laughs> Dude, so did you guys see Mike Tyson on the on the on Logan Paul's podcast last week? Crazy. I would love to. Uh, Dude, if only I was working with Mike, I would totally try and get him onto my stream. I don't know if he would do it, but in theory, I'll, let's just pretend he let's just pretend he would. Tiny Little Slug. So Tiny Little Slug is a super cool. Oh, also, I had the creator, um, Slammy, of Tiny Little Slug on the stream back in March. Super, super good guy. Uh, really, really nice guy. And he wants to make a game that, like, you don't shoot. You don't kill anyone in Tiny Little Slug, which is really nice. Reset that counter. Yeah, Mixels Lab says, I love Tiny Little Slug. It's so cute and nice not to have to uh, kill anything. Instead, you avoid them. Nivrig might have a tea game out in 2021. Oh, dude, Nivrig, I can't wait. That sounds awesome. Amiga Cami says, please install FBlit so all your icons and wallpapers and other images will be in fast RAM. So you have all your chip RAM all the time. Oh, Amiga Cami, that is, that's a, I need to do that. You're right. Amiga Cami, thank you so much for the tip there. I appreciate it. Amiga Cami, that's a great idea. Ready? Ah. All right, so it's, it's so funny. Um, move the joystick around to, so you can walk over small holes easily. Um, slugs can climb walls and ceilings. Uh, this is a really cool uh, explanation. I don't think... Uh, you can't go around corners at the top. The slug is not strong enough to. Okay, got it. Uh, use stairs by going diagonally. One hole uh, in between is okay. Very cool. You can also reach walls which are one block away. I'm just refreshing my memory on how to play. I forgot about the diagonal like that. Uh, you can't just get directly to the ceiling. You have to find a corner. So let's see how they do it. Okay. Hold the direction away of the ceiling or wall to drop down. Okay, got it. Pred Sata says this was his favorite game of, of the year. Sep, you have uh, Tiny Little Slug original with the box, CD, and disc. Oh, very, very cool. Mutation Software hasn't played this one yet. Uh, now select the difficulty, or do you want to stay here forever? <laughs> well, I'll do normal. It's hilarious that they have salty difficulty. That's hilarious. Mutation Software, this, this game is awesome. Ready? What's up, Jez Jukes? I, Maya82, yes. Um, this is, this is uh, back in March. Time flies, right, my 82? Steps, a guy named Slammy made this game. And he, if you look at my past streams, uh, you can see back in March, 
It's one of the March streams. He was on, and I did a really good interview with him. It was last year. There's a tiny little slug mouse mat? I didn't even know that, Fred Seda. And again, there's no bullets in this game. It's an avoidance game. So obviously here I want to avoid the spikes. You can And you can stick to the walls like I'm doing. Boom. Nice. And then the CP, that's a checkpoint down there. Um, and again, there's no shooting. There's only avoidance. So I, I have to look out for those peppers. They come at me. Boom. I do I give them a little juke right there. We'll go up here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't go up high enough. Yikes. You can't kill anyone, but they can kill you. Get out of these peppers' ways. Oh, he nipped me there. I got. I only got half a life left. Those pizza guys are so angry. Maya, he was really nice. That was a great stream. Maya's talking about Slammy, the creator of this game. He's a good guy. So mean, pizza guys. Why are you so angry? Oh man, I got owned there. I'm ready, let's go. Oh, I'm all the way back at this checkpoint? Oh, I'm gonna have to focus here, folks. I gotta get up there faster. Those guys are nipping me. So interesting, you have to go up there on the right first, and then you can come over. Steps, exclamation mark, spreadsheet. Um, yeah, I'm, everyone's gonna get that spreadsheet. All my, uh, all the subscribers will get that spreadsheet. Uh, patrons, tip jar folks, y'all gonna get that spreadsheet. This game is really wonderful, folks. It's a fantastic game. Yeah, Fred Seda says, during the game you get various additional skills that make your life easier, like jumping ability or ability to survive a frost. Exactly. Jawolf, this game is super fun. I, I, like, the, I like the layer, Simon. It, it, it's cool how uh, it separates the background. The jumping, the jumping ability helps a lot. Didn't get me that time. Jiro says unlimited thumbs up for this game. Yeah, I agree. Couldn't agree more, Jiro. It's awesome. You know it's a good game, like when I look at the time and it's like, holy cow, it's almost over already. Time's already up for a tiny little slug. Alright, I gotta plan this out better. Here we go. It's OCS ECS. There are subquests, bosses, etc. This game is just lovely. The boss fight is awesome in this game. I agree. Danielle, what's up, dude? Great to see you. SR Baker, you're gonna love this game. It's it's awesome. I mean, I could see why Pred Seda picked it as a game of the year. I can't. I wouldn't argue with that. Do I have to go up here? I don't remember. There's so, the problem is there's so many good games that came out this year. I love that problem. Wiz is also a contender. You know, Wiz is like an awesome platformer. Um, oh, jeez. See, now I, got, now I gotta think. Charney, the, the slime is really fast. I love the falling animation. Yeah, nice. There we go. Yep. There we go. Now I go up here. 
And now I see it's definitely like pu oh, some puzzles, you know. Um, 3D Code Warrior, thank you for gifting a sub to Mutation Software. They've gifted 56 subs to this channel. Mutation, I mean, uh, 3D Code Warrior, you're, you're bananas. I, I my God, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate that support. Um, it's a slug, Simon69 Twitch. It's called Tiny Little Slug. I think it's, it's a slug. Um, Mutation Software also made an amazing game this year too. Wiz. The micro series. Wiz. We're going to be playing Wiz in a little while. Fred says Wiz is a close second for you. I'm not going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the games and let you all decide. That's some bad gameplay right there. So many new Amiga games and new print magazines. What a great year for the Amiga Span. Agreed, Jow Wolf. Oh, in Italian, both are uh, Lumaca. A snail with a shell and a snail without. Oh, interesting, Simon69. Interesting. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> uh, one of the quests is to help a snail find a shell. That's awesome. There we go. See what happens when you hesitate? When you hesitate, the pizza guy gets you. Oh, I see. Without the shell, it's a slug. With the shell, it's a snail. Yay. That makes a lot of sense. You know, I never really thought about it that much. That's, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's very cold around here. The slug is freezing. Oh, and his life, his life force is going down. Uh, so I think we have to go uh, get some. We have to get some powers so we can get through the ice level. Johnny Video Gamer, thank you for the follow, Johnny. Welcome to the stream. We are playing every Amiga game that came out in 2020 uh, in alphabetical order. We're at the T's right now, and we're playing Tiny Little Slug, which is one of the triple A releases. I call it a triple A release that came out for Amiga this year. Um, it's a fantastic game from Slammy. Uh, we, got, we got a few bangers coming up. A few bangers are coming up between now and Z, so hold on to your hat. I, my hat came off. I had to take my hat off because I couldn't hear the mix good enough. I kind of missed the hat already, though. Let's go flip that lever and see what happens. Oh no, we're out of time already? I don't want to stop playing, that's why I got the timer. The hat was epic. I'm going to put it back on. You're welcome, Johnny Video Gamer. Thank you for the follow. If you're new to my streams, Johnny, I, I stream here uh, on Twitch every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's 2 p.m. in New York City, uh, where I am. Uh, that translates to 7 p.m. UTC and uh, 8 p.m. Central European time. Oh, look at this is awesome. Let's go check out this frog really quick. He's really sad. Let's check out this frog and then we'll call it, we'll call it, move on to the next game. Reset the counter. That's a good point, Jiro. I've lost my my tux plushie. Please, uh, oh maybe I got his tux. Uh, please find it. Okay. It's awesome. That's definitely an homage to Super Frog. I'll put the hat back on. If you're wondering why I'm all dressed up, it's because normally on New Year's Eve Eve, I go out. I wear this as a vintage 1947 suit. I go out to a vintage party with my wife. It's a great Gatsby party that, here in New York. And uh, this year, obviously, there was no party, so I didn't get to wear. I didn't get to wear the three-piece. So I've been dressing to impress on all the streams. Uh, so I was looking for an excuse to put it on, and you know what better excuse than first stream of the year? Squeaky, because I got so many. Squeaky, I would love to play this game more, but I got so many more games to play. That's the problem. Charney, there is a box version of Tiny Little Slug. Yes. This game makes you want to meet Slammy in person. Slammy is a good dude. Texas Foosballer. Um, I don't know. Everything looks good to me. There's Tiny Little Slug. Definitely one of the best games to come out this year. All right, next up, folks, is Tristam Island. Well, it's 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 kind of it's a little bit of a shock to go from a game like this to a text adventure. 
so maybe we won't play maybe I won't do the full 10 because I got so many games to get to still we have um, we have one two three four we got five more games to play so next up is Tristam Island where, where, where did Tristam Island go here it is Tristam Island a downloadable text adventure for Windows Mac OS and Linux and Amiga um, a game by Hugo Labrande. We'll check it out. See, there's an Amiga version right there. So I've got the, um, I think I, it's basically a demo that I'm playing right now. Or maybe I bought the game, I can't, I can't remember. I'll, I'll buy it. I have I, again, I haven't really played many text adventures, but that Curse of Ravenstein looks really cool. I dig it. Yo, Razor XG, have a great night. Dobranotes. Need to put up, um, uh, need to put up my game to go to the top of the music charts this coming year. Yeah, Simon69. Oh, we need to up your game? Simon69 Twitch, I want to get you up there. Simon69 Twitch did the theme song to Guru Meditation, as well as, like, a thousand other Amiga games. He's a man. Now, let me just check. Do I have this on ADF? Or, uh, yes, ADF. Okay. So let's reboot. And I think I can put down the monster. I can't skip games if they're text adventures. Oh yeah, no, I'm not skipping anything. Don't worry. I'm playing every game that came out in 2020. Every game. So what do you think? You want you want to hear some background music while while we play the game? Should I, I'll, I'll put Ravi's mix back on just so it's not so quiet. The story is loading. Immaculate Beach. You lift your eyes up to the island and sigh. It was just supposed to be a trip like so many of you've flown, taking your small airplane to a remote island in the South Atlantic Ocean to deliver medicine and spare parts. You thought you'd be back by sunset, but a storm like you've never seen before whipped out of nowhere and battered your airplane. You were losing altitude so fast you had no choice but to take your parachute and ditch the plane in the drink. You're extremely lucky to have spotted this small island, a tall chunk of rock in the middle of the ocean. It saved you from certain death, but you can't stay on this island forever. You have to explore it and see what you're working with. It sounds like Lost. I love it. You look back and sigh. Tristam Island by Hugo Lebrande. Release one. And there's my serial number. Immaculate Beach. <laughs> Pred Zeta is not into the... You gotta think of a text adventure like reading a book. You know what I mean? Immaculate Beach, the end. I, <laughs> I know. Like, why would I want to leave the Immaculate Beach? Exactly. Immaculate Beach. This is the south side of the island you are now stuck on. The immensity of the Atlantic Ocean makes you feel minuscule. A needle in the haystack with no chance of being rescued. Um... A steep hill covered by a dense forest stands in the north. Climbing it would likely take hours, and you don't really know what you could find there, so you might as well explore your new home. The beach extends to the northeast, where you can see a large boulder and to the west. Look, beach. You can't see such a thing. Um, go northeast. End of the beach. The beach on the south end of the island stops here. Behind a large boulder, the coast turns into steep rocks that form a small cove to the north. The rest of the beach extends southwest. All right, let's go north. This small cove is made of a steep beach made of wet sand. The waves are a little more turbulent here and there seems to be movement deeper in the waters. The part of the island that stands behind you is a steep hill covered in trees, curving up to what seems to be a plateau. It's probably not a good approach for the climb. From here, you can follow the coast by walking in the shallow waters towards the northwest or the south. All right, let's go northwest. <laughs> what immaculate son of a beach. All 
Friend Santa, you're hilarious. The northeastern tip. You, you reach what appears to be the end of the beach on this side of the island. The steep terrain to the east is impenetrable, but you might be able to walk in the shallow waters and follow the coast towards the southeast, where the island retreats and forms a small cove. You could also follow the beach by going west. Oh yeah, just like just like Jim Morrison says, the west is the best. Go west. <laughs> no worries, mutation software. Oh, the CPC version of this had had full graphics for every location. That would be that would be very cool. And the pet shop boys said go west too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you pull down the picture? Let's see. Northern Cliffs? No. I can I can multitask, but I would love it if it had if it had pictures. A tall cliff made of chalk runs along the northern edge of the edge of the island. Down below where you are standing is a small beach littered with rocks and pebbles, and then you spot an incredible sight. A small fishing boat moored to a long wooden dock. Unbelievable, a trace of human life on this island. And then you spot something else. A rickety looking platform is resting on the beach. Right against the side of the cliff, it looks like it rises all the way up to the top of the cliff with a rope and pulley mechanism. The beach continues southwest and east. Okay, a rickety looking platform is resting on the beach, right against the side of the cliff. Um, it looks like it rises all the way up to the top of the cliff with a rope. Um, uh, let's... Down below, go go to the beach. A small fishing boat, and then you spot something. A rickety-looking platform is resting on the go beach. Um. Go down below. Um. Use rope. Pull rope. You pull the rope with some effort. Manage to raise the platform by a few feet. You don't see the point of going any higher. You carefully let the rope go until the platform is once again on the ground. Type. Try typing pictures. Nope. New York will be beach friendly in 2021. Oh, it's friendly in 2022. The beach was a great spot to go during COVID because you could socially distance well. Now, Bitstorm, what's up, Bitstorm? Um, yo, Bitstorm, did you get the Greek stick yet? I sent that a long time ago. No, I'm playing music in the background. Try typing Dave's not here. <laughs> Yo, Bitstorm, and thank you so much for the resub, Bitstorm. I hope all is well, buddy. I hope you get your Greek stick sometime soon. I sent that like months ago. If you didn't, if you didn't get it yet, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Thank you for the resub, Bitstorm. Bitstorm won. I raffled off a Greek stick. Um. Um. Can we, can we enter boat? Not boat from the Amigos. <laughs> Look, boat. You can't see such a... It said there was a boat. Oh, Bitstorm, you got the Greek stick. Awesome. I'm so I'm so happy. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, not too long ago, I raffled off a Greek stick, which was a gift from the Vintage Computer Society of Athens. DJ Nest and Dino Hitazi. And yeah, man. Bitstorm won, dude. I, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Fred said that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, go southwest. There's a narrow strait and the beach continues to the northeast. In a pro arcade, you're loving the music? Yes, yeah, Robbie Abbott's mix. The Beach 2000 film, beach friendly. 
All right, I tell you what, we have so many games to play. I, I'm a little bit stuck here, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up. But that's Tristam Island. I can see putting yourself in the right mindset, you know, to be on the beach. You can channel the amazing show Lost. I love Lost. It's very Lost-like. Um, yeah, dude, it, it could be a fun game to get into for sure. But I wish I wish I had graphics. You know, if, if uh, other game, if other versions have it, had graphics. I wish I had graphics. In a pro arcade, you would play it. Charne, you never played text-based games, but it looks like a good exercise for imagination. Yeah, and I would play this one, and I, the Curse of Ravenstein look great, too. I would play that as well. I would play either one. So, we got two good text adventures here. Yeah, your imagination was used. Like, you didn't need super good graphics. It was all it was all up here, right? I could, I could definitely get into it. It's like, you know, it's like reading a book. If, I think if the game is good, it's like reading a book. Alright guys, next up we have a game from Mike Richmond. It's another brain game. It's called Vegetables Deluxe. It's a, it's a match 3 game for the Amiga written in Blitz Basic, compatible with all Amigas or all emulators with at least 512k of RAM. Vegetables Deluxe is no stranger to my streams. Mike Richmond, no stranger to my streams. Let's play some Vegetables Deluxe. Now let's check the... It's an ADF, so I'll reboot. Spaceman 21st Century, what is up? Next up is Wiz after Vegetables. Thank you, Ravi, for the grooves. Ravi Abbott's music, everyone. The formula on Mixcloud. Thank you, Ravi. We are now booting up Vegetables Deluxe. Vegetables Deluxe is great fun, says Stuart Johnson. Uh, in a pro arcade, it's beautiful to have an amazing picture to look at in the graphic adventures, but there's something I miss from my childhood about those user imagination and learn how to communicate with this game text adventures. Man, they were the best. Right on in a pro arcade. I love your photography in a pro arcade. It's really good, dude. Seriously, it's awesome. Vegetables Deluxe. Here we go. Vegetables is definitely a quality release from this year. Code, music, and graphics by Mike Richmond. Title screen by Andy Cashmore. Distributed by Double Sided Games. Jeremy Marson, my man. My photography blows you buzz your socks off. Oh, thank you. In a pro okay. Yours, I'm telling you, man. I know a good thing when I see it, and yours is really, yours is awesome. I think it's it's East, it's OCS, uh, Spaceman. Let's start with casual. It's a matching game. Um, so you gotta uh, match three in a row. So let's see where we have a match here. Uh, I got, here we go. So we have three potatoes. Dude, three taters in a roll. Then we got some three broccolis here. Oh yeah. Nice moves, Mike Richmond. I love it. I love it, Mike Richmond. Um, now, See, sometimes I get into the zone of a game, and sometimes I can't. I'm looking for, I'm looking for three in a row. I was playing bingo. I played bingo at my buddy's brewery not too long ago. Bingo was fun. Vegetables is OCS. Pixel at Dawn Gaming. You forgot the catchy music. Oh, it's so good. The music is awesome. All right, uh, let's get it. So you can also do hints. Oh, here we go. There's three in a row. So three, three, uh, three mushrooms in a row. Dude, did you see Mike Tyson eat a handful of mushrooms on that podcast? That was insane. That was insane. Like a handful. He literally. <laughs> and they weren't they weren't mushrooms from from the grocery store. Big Lumby, thank you so much for the follow, Big Lumby. Welcome to the stream. We're playing every Amiga game that came out in 2020 in alphabetical order, and we're up to the V's. Up to the V's. We got only a couple of games left. Uh, right now we're playing Vegetables Deluxe by Mike Richmond, and you have to match three vegetables in a row. The game is vegan friendly, so it's it's good good with the wife. Three in a row. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot a lot of options with those peppers. I like it. Yeah, good stuff. 
Three in a row, baby. Three taters in a row. It's, it's so, it's, with this game, it's like, sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Three broccoli in a row. The mushrooms on the upper right. Did I get them already? Three eggplants. Oh, look at that. We, we can make an L formation here with our eggplants. I love it. Boom. Boom. Three taters. Love it. You love the music mutation software. It looks like Newman's own pizza. Takes out the entire line. There's other modes to this game too that make it more difficult. Boom chakalaka, you know it. Um, what if I go to, I'm afraid to hit quit, but I'll hit quit. We'll see what other game modes they have. It's like Candy Crush, but healthier. <laughs> Barza Dobre Charne. Uh, we can go to classic mode. So I think classic mode, um, I know it's like filling your grocery cart. You need to get enough enough of all these. You know, you get a, a, enough of each vegetable and then you move on to the next screen. Let's start out. Dude, let's start out with some eggplants. Why not? Um, that give me a 300 score, three eggplants. Um, let's do some carrots. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that was that was a good move. Good move there. Let's do some mushrooms. Let's do some broccoli. Not as fun as mushrooms, but you know, healthy. The tomatoes are concerned. Oh, the tomatoes are fruit. That, that's a good point. That is a good point, Stuart Johnson. Big Lumpy, thank you for the follow. If you're new to my streams, I'm Bill, and I stream here on Twitch every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. That's New York City Time. That translates to 7 p.m. UTC and 8 p.m. Central European Time. I love to play classic games. I love to play new Amiga games. Um, what else do I like to do? I like to make videos on the YouTube channel. Do exclamation mark guru. It's a YouTube channel called The Guru Meditation. We make Amiga videos over there, me and my buddy Anthony. Um, I'm gonna make a video about this drive that I got right here. If you're wondering why I'm dressed up, it's because I normally go to um, a great Gatsby party here in New York on New Year's. Couldn't go this year. Uh, so I figured I'll bust out the three piece for my first stream of the year instead. Um, all right, three in a row. What am I looking for? Three in a row, three in a row. Let's do a hint. They wink at you. Um, oh, so it doesn't work diagonally. Wait, he winked at me. How do I get three in a row? Where was the wink? I saw the wink. I don't understand the wink. I don't see three in a row here. I see two. These guys are winking at me. How do I do? How do I do it? Three. No. No. I don't see it. The music has nostalgia for you, uh, even though you never heard it while you were young. Oh. oh, Andy, Magic Knight. The red ones are peppers. That makes sense. Left to right? I don't see it. I don't... Oh, right here. Sorry. I see it now. Sometimes It's so weird. Like, sometimes it's just so obvious, and sometimes the obvious thing is just so hard to see. Um, let's see the other game modes. Three minutes left of Vegetables Deluxe, and then we play Wiz. And we have the creator of Wiz with us in the chat. Mutation Software. Oh, wait. Quit. It may as well be Bell Paprika. <laughs> um, oh, chopping is the one. Okay, so this mode... See, so this one starts. You see, you have, you have three. You have to get three carrots, three potatoes, three broccoli, etc. So if I get, if I put some uh, mushrooms here, I got three, and boom, now I, I got it. I got enough. So I put enough enough mushrooms in my cart. So I can do this, but it's not really gonna help me. Three broccoli. I'll take that. Three broccoli in the cart. Oh, I just owned it. I just owned it. Level two, you know it, Space Man. I'm, I'm gonna try the, the last uh, mode of this game though is, is killer. It's a timer. It's so hard. All right, here we go. See the countdown timer? So I'm going Pepper. Boom. Uh, I'm going. Oh no! It's so much pressure. 
We're going potato. Uh, I like, I like mushroom. Um, what, I need to see something quick. I need to see it. I need to see it fast. Oh no, 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 oh no. I'm dead. It's so hard. It's so good though. I love it. Uh, here we go. Three eggplants. In L formation. That was powerful. Uh, let's see. What are we doing now? Uh, oh, I don't see it. Peppers. Peppers. Oh my god. So much pressure. It's so difficult. Uh, mushrooms. I just snuck in there. Snuck in with those shrooms. Uh, broccoli. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I, need, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh no, I get so panicky. Oh, broccoli. There was broccoli there. Rats. Peppers, peppers, hold the cheese. The countdown mode is really the most intense. And it's kind of the most fun. Oh, casual mode now. Let's go back to countdown mode real quick. We got 51 seconds left. The game, again, simple and addictive game. I'm pretty sure this is Mike Richmond's first game they ever made. All right, uh, we go three peppers. We go three mushrooms. Uh, what else? We got we got three taters. Oh no, I'm gonna go three mushroom. I'm sorry, three broccoli. And now I can go three taters. Uh, and now I can go three eggplants. And oh god, no! Oh no! Oh no! Three! I saw it at the end. I saw I saw the I saw the three carrots. <sighs> Oh, now, now it's just getting sloppy. Now, now it's just getting sloppy, and time is up. Invent 71. What is up, my man? No, no. I'm streaming until I'm done, though. 547. I wonder. I see. I got how many more games do I have to play? Let's check it out, folks. Let's let's consult. Let's consult the um, the spreadsheet. Desktop full screen. Invent 71 is great to see you, my main man. Dude, Invent 71. I've got I got high hopes for you in 2021. I hope some reshoot Proxima 3 is coming out. I'm praying for it. We got three games left to play, folks. So we just did Vegetables Deluxe. Uh, next up is Wiz. Then we got Super Wormy the Worm Like Snake. And then Zgred. Now, Wiz, now I was talking about, we played Tiny Little Slug not too long ago. That's definitely one of the AAA releases. Wiz, also a AAA release. Look at this. Look at this. Libatross. Thank you so much for the follow, Libatross. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very, very much, Libatross. Welcome to the stream. We're down to the final three games of 2020. So Wiz comes in a in a, a box edition too, which is which was shipped out to me by Mutation Software a long time ago. Um, Wiz, I was super lucky. I, I was able to premiere Wiz here on the stream. Uh, so a huge thank you to Mutation Software for your incredible support. My 1084 monitor also exploded during my Wiz stream, which is uh, something that I'll never forget. But Wiz, this is part of the micro collection of uh, Mutation Software. Um, it, it's sweet. When you get the physical edition, it comes in this tiny little case, which is so cool. It's got a Wiz pin. Oh, I need to put the Wiz pin on. Uh, Mutation Soft sticker. It comes with a, a USB stick with the ADF files on it. So if you have a floppy disk, you can make your own floppy. In this case, you want to copy that floppy? Oh, yeah. We got Wiz, Wiz stickers. I love it. And we got the Wiz booklet here. I'm dropping stuff. Oh, God. It's a, it's a yard sale here on the Mega Bill stream. Oh, and I, oh God, I didn't have to take it out. Wiz for Amiga. And it, it comes with this rad this rad poster, too. Wiz, Quest for the Magic Lantern. Love it. Invent 71 on the bridge. You know it. You're back on an actual computer. You've been away for a week. I hope you, um, I ho I hope you had a great New Year's, Kev. You're the best. Let's head over to Mutation Software. So Wiz is part of the Micro Series. They have awesome other games. I did a whole stream. Oh, sorry. I need to go over here to desktop full screen. I need to, um, I need to, I, I played all the Micro Series on stream. They got uh, Cyberpunk 2, which is coming out. I can't wait for that. I think I'm actually a character in that game, which is unbelievable. <laughs> um, they have a Mutation Gold compilation, which has got all the, the, uh, the Mutation games in it, which is cool. We got Wiz, Castle Kingdoms, Tommy Gun, Tin Toy, which I really, really love. These games are awesome, dude. Adrian. Adrian is Mutation Software in chat. Two thumbs up to you. Thank you for giving us another AAA release in 2020. I got... 
I got the, the rest of the micro series here. I got uh, I got Tin Toy. I got Tommy Gun. And I got Castle Kingdoms. But right now we're gonna play Wiz, because these games didn't come out in 2020, and Wiz did one of the awesome releases for 2020. Let me um I just want to pick up my sticker that fell so I don't run over it with my chair. Alright, we're gonna reboot. Booting up Wiz, it's an ADF. Wiz, here we go. Here we go, mutation software. Wiz, Wiz Wit, as we say when we order a Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia. Or is it Wit Wiz? Amiga Cami's got her copy? Oh, nice. Is it a sticker? Or oh, it's a drink coaster. Oh, right on. <laughs> Silly Billy strikes again. It is beautiful packaging, Retro Gaming Denmark. Let's get some Wiz on deck. You know it. Wiz Wit. Charney, the covers are awesome. Booting up some Wiz. They used to call me Bill Wiz, by the way. That's my, my handle on my mountain bike website. Not my, but you know, the mountain bike website that I belong to. Wizwit. Does this one have WHD load? I don't think so, Sin Lao. I, I, you know, because it's, it's a commercial game. Mutation Software said Cyberpunk's 2 development restarts next week. Awesome, Mutation. I can't wait. I can't believe I'm going to be in a game. This just blows me away. Wiz. Insert disc 2. Awesome. Super Tech Boy, you'll see. Someone said there's a WHD load version? Oh, wow. So there is a WHD load version of it. Wow. But I, I, if you want, I'm all good with getting the WHD load version as long as you like buy it as well. You know what I mean? Mutation Software says Wiz does now have a WHD load. Oh, that is so cool. It didn't have a WHD load when I originally played it. I'm, I'm still, I'm loading off ADF, you know? Oh, you have to install it yourself instead of getting the whole game in a pack. That makes a lot of sense, Amiga Kami. That makes a lot of sense. I live on long after I'm gone via the game digitally. I oh Ram, I need I, I need something to keep you know to keep my spirit alive when I'm gone, you know what I mean? Here we go. Wiz and the quest for the magic lantern. When did it when did um Yeah, it's an AGA game. Act 1, The Path of Hope. In a strange land, far away, lived a wizard. Wiz, if you will. Wiz once possessed a treasured magic lantern that was given to him by the Fairy Queen. The lantern contains bright magical fairy light that keeps evil spirits at bay across all the lands. Wart knows the wicked witch is up to her evil tricks again. She has stolen the lantern and taken it to the spooky mansion where she resides in darkness, along with my 1084S monitor. Damn you, wart nose. Leaving home, Wiz picks up the remainder of his trusty old spells and potions to embark on the quest. Good luck. Press fire to continue. Here we go. Andy Amiga 7. Bless all of our Amiga developers. Agreed, Andy Amiga 7. And his pal only got it. Oh, I forgot the worm can hurt me. Oops, I already used the spell. Every time you launch the game, you want me to read it aloud, Andy Mega 7? That's hilarious. So you have different um, potions on the bottom, like different power-ups. You can access them by pressing down on the joystick. Um, for now, I'm just going to kick some butt. All natural. 
All right, maybe, maybe not. I love the backgrounds, by the way, and the artwork is, the art style is so cool. No way, mutation software said in Cyberpunk's 2, one mission is uh, New New York and you have to rescue Amiga Bill. <laughs> I just killed a tiny little slug, I know, right? Oh, I forgot the piranhas are invincible. That's right. I tried to jump on top of them. Piranhas are invincible. Yeah, I can't wait for that. That is awesome. <laughs> we just got a healing potion. I love it. So I might need to use that healing potion soon. Let, let's do it. There. See, you can see uh, the, my heart grew bigger because I was getting a little sick there. Mutation software, I love this game. It's so good. I know a lot of people have this on their, their game of the year. Kill the kill the worms with the fairy spell. Got you. Pred Sata said I should freeze the fish. Yeah, I have I, have, I do have a freeze spell. Or I could have just played better and, and not not jumped on the fish. <laughs> the Piradana. That little, that little, that little worm looks harmless. Oh crap. Alright, I guess I should have froze him. Super Tech Boy, the game is a maze balls. It's so good. One of the, one of my triple A, one of the games I consider triple A for the Amiga this year. So much fun. Oh, I thought that was one of the worms as a coin instead. It's, it is it is funny that we played Tiny Little Slug before. And the worm is similar to the slug a little bit. There's another worm. The worm is so cute, though. I really don't want to hurt the worm. It's just it's a freaking worm. Like, leave him alone, you know? Faith in the glitch, my man! You're in love with the VHS cam, your digital eight just can't uh, look that cool. Dude, Faith in the Glitch is one of my one of my great friends. Faith in the Glitch and I would normally be at MAGFest right now. Faith in the Glitch is an amazing, amazing, amazing DJ and one of the top streamers here. I love that guy. Faith in the Glitch rules. Let me shout you out right now, Faith in the Glitch. I, I'm so, Faith, I was been so busy, fortunately with work leading up to Christmas, I haven't been able to catch your streams. Although I did have you on in my hotel room once. My speakers on my laptop stink though, so it didn't do you justice. Um, shout out, Faith in the Glitch. Dude, I'm missing MAGFest and you so much. We would be there right now. We would be there right now. I love this. I love that the uh, the dragon's got a mask on. You know, it's like proper proper 2020 game right there. If you're just joining the stream like Faith in the Glitch, uh, welcome. I'm Bill and I'm streaming. Every Amiga game to come out in 2020, in alphabetical order, there was 36 games in total. And uh, we are on the W's right now. We're playing Wiz by Mutation Software, and Mutation Software is in the chat if you have any questions for him. I absolutely, there's the slug from Tiny Little Slug. I absolutely cannot wait um, for Cyberpunks 2. That will be coming out in 2021, and I'm in the game. I'm super, stu super stoked. Now, hold on. Can I oh, no. Not even, not even Puff the Magic Dragon can protect you uh, against the Piranha. Will I be doing voice work for the next game? Hey, if Mutation Software wants me to, I will. <laughs> a part-time voiceover artist. I made faith in the glitch. will spin some tunes for it. I think they're... Faith, I think they're going to do like an some kind of online uh, MAGFest. I'm, I'm in I'm in like some kind of group. I, I would love to do a stream for MAGFest. It would be awesome, dude, Faith in the Glitch, it would be awesome if MAGFest did a stream and had you DJ for it. That would be amazing. I'm pretty sure they're, they're playing uh, a stream like towards the end of January.
And the Amiga 7, this game's such a trip. I know, I love the graphics too. So guys, what we'll do is, um, we have two games left to play after Wiz, and then um, if you want to see, pick one from the list that you want me to play again, I can do that. Extra life. Dude, that would be awesome mutation software. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> what kind of samples you need there, mutation software? <laughs> oh, I went through the exit. I want to go get the, go get the coin. Ooh, I love this forest. It's really cool. I'm hooked. So many good games this year. <laughs> I, I love jumping on top of the enemies. It's my favorite way to take them down in this game. Oh, should I freeze it? You know what, I'll freeze the piranha. Like Fred said, I should do. Freeze. Jump down. There we go. Look at that. The freeze the freeze works well against the piranha. It's the only way you can get through it without dying. Unless you like have, you know, better managed, you know, the skills. And time it out better than I did. Uh oh. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, I need to I need to float up there, right? I, I, I formed a bubble. Oh no, I just, no. Now what do I do? Did I just completely blow it? What do I do now? What do I do now, mutation? Am I, am I doomed? Oh wait, I can get up there probably. I can probably get up here. Yeah, I can, I can get there. I should be able to, right? Yeah, we're good. Water, a hero's weakness, exactly. I was excited about using the bubble though, mutation software. Yo, Smash1980, have a great night, dude. It was a pleasure having you here, Smash. Thanks for hanging out as always, buddy. See, I don't need to freeze him that time. I just need to jump over him. Let's stomp on some mushrooms. Another game with mushrooms in it. I, I, I approve. And the next game has got uh, little creatures in it too. Super Wormy, the worm-like snake. Oh, there's a boss fight. Oh, I'm out of time, but let's fight this boss. I need to heal up. What's up, Vanganator? Um, it sounds it sounds good. I it, you know what? I don't usually raid people who I don't know. Um, that's to be honest, it's completely backfired on me a couple times. Um, but I'll take a look for sure. Especially, you know, if someone, uh, I like to help out folks, you know. Where's this hitbox mutation? Oh, okay, got him in the crown. I forgot. I need to heal. I have no more healing left. Now, now we'll get him. Now I know where his hitbox is. Oh, crap. Oh, 
Not playing well. The odds are against me here, folks. Can I make a comeback? There we go. There we go. Focus. Focus, Bill. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's get this evil mushroom king. Rats. He got me. Rats. Oh, man. I want a rematch. I want a rematch so bad. I can totally beat that punk. Wiz, everyone. That is an amazing, amazing game. Wiz by Mutation Software. Oh yeah, handy capable Sean looks awesome. If he's still on, if he's still on when when I finish, we'll, we'll rate him. I'm just gonna keep him up there so I, I don't forget. <laughs> All right, let's um, check. All right, Wiz, awesome, awesome game. Um, next up, everyone is Super Wormy, the worm-like snake. Here's a link to Super Wormy. It's a link to the English Amiga board. Super Wormy the worm like snake. Let's go, baby. Yo, Mutation Software, congrats on Wiz. Thank you for making this awesome game. I might have to go back and beat that boss. I might have to go back and beat that boss. Let's see. Wormy, super wormy, the worm-like snake definitely wins the best name category. Mixels, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. Can't say, uh, can't say I disagree. Um, Mutation software, dude, have a great night, Mutation. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the awesome game. Like cloaked mosquito said, cheers for the game. Mutation software, you rock. Mutation software. Amiga love for you, my man. I forgot how to play Super Wormy the Worm Like Snake. I remember playing it a long time ago. Let's go, Wormy. Where are you at, Wormy? Mutation, you rock. I might have to go back and beat him. Wormy's not booting up. Now, I'm pretty sure I've played Super Wormy the Worm Like Snake. It should work. Come on, Wormy. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Coagula Software 2020. Let's reset the timer, folks. Eduardo, good night to you, Eduardo. I hope you had a, a great time here. Thank you, Eduardo, for hanging out. You can, Bitstorm, you can hear the GoTech. The Go, I tell you, those GoTech sounds really help. <laughs> they really help. Super Wormy, the worm-like snake. Press fire or left alt. I remember Super Wormy now. Options. Wow, it's got some advanced. It's got some advanced options here.
Super Wormy the Worm Like Snake. Version 1 1 from Coagula Software 2020. You know the drill. Steal the worm around the level, eating the fruit and making your tail longer. Eat all the fruit and go to the next level. Don't hit your body or the walls, and don't even sniff your tail. Written by Rob Hewitt using Blitz 2.1 Basic while in lockdown. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks to PHX and uh, Idarug for PT Player. Let's do it. It's Snake. It's Snake, everyone. It's Tron. Bankinator is actually a Go X drive. G O E X. It's running the Flash Floppy firmware. And that's my next video on my YouTube channel. Good game. Let me tell you, Snake never gets old. It never gets old. I love Snake. Alright, here we go. I'm going to start on the edges and work my way in. Oh, I missed. I missed again. Alright, I'm just going to, I'm going to go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. I'm gonna get this sucker up here against the wall. Love it. Pick this guy up. Keep rounding him up. Misfired on that one. Alright, we gotta get this guy. Oh. Gotta keep round. We're getting long now. But well, that might have been a bad idea. One more left. We gotta wrap back around to get that one. Boom! Level three, here we go. Pro strats, you know it. Erock says it's really cool uh, that the worm can get super long and still run at 50 FPS. Totally. Erock, you rock, dude. Erock puts the ear in rock because he rocks. And he's Erock. Erock, I can't wait to see what you have in store for us in 2021. I'm so, so pumped. We played one of Erox's games uh, earlier in the, oh no. Earlier in this marathon, we played, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> we played um, Raid, wait, wait, not Raid Over Moscow. Um, yeah, it was Raid Over Moscow. Amazing port by Erox. Close Mosquito, very cool game, right? Lots of really interesting, cool games to come out this year. I missed it. Stretch it out. Stretch him out. Stretch the worm out. Oh, I should have went. I should have got that guy. We gotta stretch this worm out. He's getting long. I, I can't miss this time. I can't miss this one. Got it. Can't miss. Got it. Here we go. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Boom. Really good music, right? Yeah, totally. Don't sniff the tail. Don't sniff the tail under any circumstance, according to the official game strategy. Never sniff the tail. Oh no, I didn't see those guys down there. We gotta, we gotta loop around. Stretch it out and loop around. All right, I gotta look at the map. The map is key. So may I'll just keep looping around, we'll do this. Cause I think there's one down here. Perfect. Why not? Why not? One more left. 
Super Tech Boy, great question. I'm using the Monster Mini. Although, the Greek Stick could be a really good choice for this one. The Greek Stick's got a little less play. The minimap is, is key, Charney. Key. Ah. Oh. Now what? That was terrible. Terrible. The mazes are getting complicated. Yo, I forgot how cool this game is. I forgot how cool it is. This is like the ultimate snake. Oh man, my reflexes are getting slow. Super Tech Boy, yeah, the level design is amazing. Super Wormy the Worm like Snake. Here we go. Play again. Three minutes left. I don't think I'm gonna get to finish. So I think what we'll do is I got one game left to play. Zgred. Made in Poland like my wife. And um And then maybe we'll do like we'll do one more, you know, maybe we'll just pick a game from the list that you want to see me play to wrap up the stream. That I've already played. Maybe Iraq's here will play a little raid over Moscow, you know? Whatever you guys want to see. It'd be cool if you could skip a level of passcode. Hmm, did it not? That, that would be cool. Yo, Robert Cop 84 thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream, Robert Cop. We are playing every Amiga game that came out in 2020 and we are down to the last two. Oh my God. I'm doing all alphabetical order and this is Super Wormy the Worm Like Snake. And Robert, if you're new to my streams, I stream every Sunday on Twitch, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. That's um, in New York City. That translates to 7 p.m. at UTC or 8 p.m. at Central European Time. A lot of folks, Amiga was super popular in, in Europe, especially for gaming. And a lot of folks that tune in, they tune in from uh, the other side of the pond. Oh, I missed it. The minimap is key in this game. Too late. I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. Super long wormy. You know it, Jiro. I don't know. You know, we'll see. I'll show you guys the list, and then we can decide what bonus game you want to play. I gotta say, this game is sweet. I forgot how good this game is. This one, this is, this is a surprise sleeper. Hard mode with no mini map. Oh man, yeah. What well, you know is hard though is that the the more complicated the, the level gets, the more difficult it is to see the mini map. I shouldn't have went down. That was terrible. Bad strats right there. But, oh, and I hit the wall. This one, this would be a good game for a high score combo as well. Or a limited minimap, totally. There we go. Oh. Yeah, Bitstorm, the minimap is key. Uh, Jiro, oh, Jiro's got a good question. Jiro, I don't know, man. That is a good point you got there. Jiro brings up a point. The games packed by Luca Car uh, Carmenti are came out in 2020. Here's the thing. I guess that would qualify. I mean, they they're old games, but they're re-released re in 2020. Cred Sata says no. That that's a dude. I don't know that that. We've played other games that were never released before until now, right? Like, 
Magic. Magic came out briefly in 1991 and then re-released in 2020, and that's on the list, so... You might be onto something there, Jiro. Cloak Mosquito is playing it on an Amiga 500 with a Mega Drive pad. No, oh, uh, you know, a gamepad would be a good, a good choice for this game. Yeah, no, Jiro, you're right. I played them this year, not too long ago. You're totally right. I just don't remember. Um, I have, to, I'd have to check. That that could be a type. Technically, you could be right there, Jiro. I don't know, Pred Zeta, why do you say no? Pred Zeta says it's a good point. Those games should be part of the 2020 games. Pred Zeta, I think I, I think I'm with I'm with Jiro on that. I think I think they should be right. The original three-button Mega Drive pad is awesome for the Amiga 500 games. You're right, Amiga Kami. All right, folks. Last game. I, you know what? Last game, but I didn't realize it. But that I think Jiro's correct. I think that pack that I played. I played it very recently. I think that should be included in the 2020 list. Anyway, this is the last game I planned for today. This is uh, Zgred or ZGR3D coming in from Poland. It's a, it's a brand new Amiga game. It's got a, a box set and a floppy disk. Um, it's another, it's like an inverse of Tetris. It's a wild game. I played it not too long ago. Um, here's a link to where you can purchase it. Fred Seda, you're going to include them in the list? I think he's right. I think, I, I, I think you got to. Now the question is, should I play any of them right now? Secret, here we go. Zgred coming up. Thanks to everyone for hanging out today. I'm having an absolute blast playing every game that came out in 2020. Although, although Jiro just <laughs> Jiro just brought up a really good point, dude. Um, do we know what games are released in 2021? Super Tech Boy, that's a tough one because you know some games that are highly anticipated may not make it out in 2021. You know, like there are games that are, are some ex are expected in 2021, but we don't know if they'll actually come out because you know, whoa. Uh, because, you know, like, best laid plans, it's hard to make games, and sometimes real life gets in the way. So I can go over a few, um, a few anticipated ones. The snake game reminds you of the snake game by Lucas. Jiro, you're on point, dude. You're on point. Here we go, Zgred. Oh, wrong stick. I picked up the, the green stick. I need to pick up the monster. There you go. So Invent71 is working on Reshoot Proxima 3. He said that's definitely coming out in 2021. And Boss Machine 2022. And Amiga Kami hopes to release the game this year too. Awesome Amiga Kami. I can't wait to play your game with me, Cammy. Now I came up, I forgot last time I played this game, I came up with a really good strategy and I can't remember what it was. So it's kind of like Tetris in reverse in a way. I think I, I think I played the high game. Picking off blocks, trying not to let them all fall, you know? It's like Jenga. Yeah, Jiro, I, I owned this game last time I played it. It's a good one. It, it, it's, it looks very simple, like you just want to smash stuff at first, but you don't want to do that. See, I'm not gonna hit that because I'm not gonna hit the top there because uh, something might pop out of the screen. Pro strats. Ooh. 
Really good music. Oh, and Nivrig has got a new game coming out too. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, Cammy, I know the feeling. When you have like so many projects, I, I know the feeling. Oh man, Prince Zeta, I, w I hope Wayne wins this game too. It looks amazing. That's a Scourge of the Underkind. That would be amazing. It looks so good. I know Wayne's had some health problems uh, recently though, so you know, again, real life gets in the way sometimes, you know? I think Wayne will be alright though. Wayne's gonna make it through. Wayne's gonna be, Wayne's gonna make a great game. It, that, that looks like an, a huge AAA release there from old Wayne. Steph Lemon Amiga is j just saying he's still waiting for, for Alar City to be released. <laughs> Sorry, Iraq. It's just the problem, Iraq, the problem is your games are so good, we want to play them. That's the problem. <laughs> I can't wait for Alar City myself. Uh, to me, Alar City was like almost, oh no, I blew it. To me, Alar City was like almost, almost done already. I loved Alar City, just the way it was. So good. I like this game because it's like a thinking game, you don't have to think too hard. <laughs> oh, Alar City is taking a while, it's still coming. Iraq did some work porting assets into the Scorpion engine recently. Oh, no way, dude. And Nivrig is working on a game called Turbo Tomato. Ooh, I love it. I'm going to check out both links as soon as I'm done here. In 4 minutes and 45 seconds. You know, you could play this game for a really long time. You could really like rack up a high score. I'm, I got lucky. See, I'm, I'm in the danger zone here, folks. Dead. I knew it. I went for it. I went. I went. I took the risk, and I and I paid the price. Beginning is definitely the, the hardest. When everything's falling down at once. If you survive the beginning and you play smart, you can you can be alright. <laughs> Orama brings up a great point from the Amigaville VIP lounge. Saying that his helmet's not that effective. Oh, Alar City is the most anticipated game of the decade for Fred Seda. Wow. There's some really good ones coming up. Reshoot Proxima 3 is going to be amazing. I cannot wait. I can, I'm already thinking about that stream, Kev. I'm already thinking about having you and Richard on. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. That stream is going to is going to be nuts. Yard stream, you like my retro TV frames? Thank you so much, Yard stream. Welcome. And also the uh, the VHS cam is an actual VHS camera. I'll show I'll show it to you uh, as soon as in two minutes, if you're still here in two minutes and 50 seconds. 
I'll show it to you. I'm playing uh, every game that came out in 2020, and we're, we're at the last one. We're at Z. Although, although one of uh, Jiro, one of the folks who was in the chat, brought up a good point. There was uh, some games that did come out this year, some old games that were re-released this year that should be on the list. Yardstream, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, it's a real VHS camera, Yardstream. It was, it was one that was headed for the trash, and I rescued it. I'm in trouble here. Gotta dig my way out. I didn't do so good. Try Turrican or Hero Quest? Dude, I love, um... Warsteiner, uh, I love Turrican. Um, but today I'm just focused on the games that came out this year. But Turrican, yeah, I mean, Turrican's one of the best. And I, you know, I know everyone thinks Turrican 2 is the best Turrican, but I think you can make the argument, you can clearly make an argument that Turrican 1 is the best. I love Turrican 1. Krivy, I know, this music is awesome, right, Krivy? Fred said it, Fred has got no doubt LR City will happen one day. You just gotta, you just gotta be patient and wait. I, I hear you, Fred Seda. I mean, if Iraq says it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Believe me, I have some videos that on the YouTube channel that I've been meaning to make, and I, I know they're gonna happen. But, yeah, it's been way too long, I, you know. So I, I feel I feel Iraq there. Sep Lemon Miga says Turkin 1 is the best. There you go. I think I, I kind of, I mean, I don't know. I kind of like Durkin 1 too. It's a tough call. Uh, I think, I think I did say Warsteiner. Warsteiner, right? <laughs> Joan of Arc is a good one as well. You know what? I can't even remember playing Joan of Arc. It's been so long ago. That could be a, a good one. I think I'm dead here, folks. No, I'm gonna go like this. Well, Oh, War Steiner is a beer? Oh, awesome. I like I like this guy. <laughs> a beer named War Steiner. That sounds fantastic. I'm so in the mood for a beer right now. Oh, I, you know, I, I really want to crack open this awesome bottle of wine that uh, that Milo bought for me and the missus, too. But I'm going to save that one for later in the evening when she can enjoy it, too. Time to almost stop on cigarette. Alright, what's my strat here? I think I'll take this guy out. And then I have plenty of space. Yeah, perfect. Take him out. Boom. Go down there. Perfect. There. Yep. Good strats there. Good strats. Time's up on Ziggred. Time is up on Ziggred. I gotta I gotta try a Joan of Arc. Yard stream, check it out. Um You can see it up there. That's you can see the, the VHS camera up there. <laughs> yeah, it's big. I, it, it's a it's a big one. And you can see the little webcam next to it right here. I'm not using this one. I use this one for like uh, when I do have an interview with someone on the stream. So if you're new to my stream yard yard stream, uh, sorry, yeah, welcome. I'm Bill and I stream Amiga stuff here on Twitch. Every Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UTC, 8 p.m. Central European Time. That's it. That's, I'm in New York City, so that's how it branches out. Or, you know, or it's 11 a.m. Pacific Time if you're, if you're West Coast of the United States. And then if you're in New Zealand or Australia, like some of the folks tuning in are, I have no idea when that is. It's like Monday morning sometime. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, there, there it is, man. Basically, every, every game. Yeah, why is that bottle? I just I unboxed the bottle on the stream uh, of War Steiner. It was a gift, and uh, it's a special gift for me and my wife from Milo Loves Chocolate, one of my VIPs. So I don't want to just like bogart all the wine, you know. I want to share it with her. <laughs> oh, see, Iraq says it's 12:37 p.m. on Monday for him, checking in from New Zealand. Let's check out the list, everyone. This is what we did. This is what we did over the past three streams. 36 games. Look at this. So, look at the list. Is there anything you guys want to see again? I mean, obviously not something from this stream. Raid over Moscow is Erox game. 
Sansa Rocks is Nifrig's game is in the chat. Rotator, amazing game that came out. Um, Tim Gilbert comes into the streams a lot. Um, Dodgy Rocks is uh, is also a Nifrig's game. What were some surprises? Bagman was really good too. Um, Astro Blocks Revisited might have the best music of all the games. I don't know. Nifrig says amazing series. Thanks, Bill. Jiro says well done. Well done, uh, year in review. Thank you. Thank you, Jiro. I appreciate it. Snow Dog checking in from the Amigaville VIP lounge. You know what? I need to. I think we need to go to the VIP lounge real quick. Jawolf saying goodnight from England. Has been a great stream. Catch you next week. Awesome, Jawolf. I'll be back next week. Yeah, and uh, next week is gonna be a little more chilled out. I'm gonna unbox some stuff. Um, I got a new, I got a cannon fodder vinyl record. We're gonna play it off my real turntable. Uh, we're going to um, check out. I got another joystick. We're gonna check out this joystick. What else? I got some. I got a cool PCMCA extender for the, the Amiga. What else did I get? A couple of cool things. Let's go hang out in the VIP lounge for a second. Yeah, you know it. Ne War's never been so much fun. Auf geht's zur Party im Club Amiga Bill. Show your Amiga Bill VIP card to Brother Bill at the door, Maya82. Welcome to Club Amiga Bill. Step right up and have your IDs ready. Snow Dog, Tech Girl, Maya82, Sanzian01, Dark Horse Observatory, Milo Loves Chocolate, MonsterJoysticks.com. C64 Television, O-ROM, RetroBench.com, Sep Lemon Amiga, and S.R. Baker. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. I know y'all are ready. Oh wait, credits, hold on. No, no credits yet, no credits yet. <laughs> Charney, the Branos. Oh man, yeah, so one of the upgrades, I upgraded above Amiga Bill, man. We got, we got some, some moving lights now. We got some moving lights. <laughs> Oh man, does anyone want to see any more games? Uh, I'm a little bit spent, but I could I could play another game if you want. Um, my everyone's signing off. I, maybe it's late. Maybe it's time to call the stream. Maybe I should end on the high note. Jiro loves the club. Yeah, Jiro, throw down some moves. You know what I need to do? Oh, here's what I want to do. Check this out. Here, let's do one more upgrade live on stream. Um, watch this. I'm gonna add uh, image capture device. I'm gonna add the dance cam. This is gonna be cool. Just as an alternative, you know. I'm gonna put it like about there. This is gonna be hot. And, and Maya, I, Maya wants legs so she can dance. I don't blame her. That that'll be a, that'll be a future upgrade to Club Amigaville. Legs for legs for Maya. Legs for the tech girl. Let's see, did that enough? This will work. There we go. Now I can dance too. Let's turn up. The handy capable Sean looks really cool. I just, you know, he's playing uh, Super Duels and Ghosts. I never, I don't know him, but uh, it was me, someone mentioned him in uh, in my chat, so I think we'll give him a raid. Um, oh. So 
Sorry, thank you. <laughs> the, uh, thank you for, for reminding me there. <laughs> uh, thanks, Amiga Live. I, I can't, uh, I just, uh, I just went nuts. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm psyched. We just, did, we just did an upgrade. But I can dance, I can dance on the dance floor now. It's gonna be awesome. But my, um, my, my wires, you know, my wires prevented me from doing the 360s. But thanks to everyone for the support. Uh, this has been an awesome, awesome year for Amiga Games. 2021 is gonna be even better. Um, yeah, dude, I'm so psyched for 2021. It's gonna be great. Um, I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> all, all my subscribers and patrons will be getting the goodie bag and I'll have the whole list of games that came out in 2020, including, including the ones that were just brought to my attention that weren't on the list. Um, thank you, thank you, Jiro, you rock. Um, I'll be back on Sunday, one week from today. And it's gonna be, we're gonna be spinning vinyl. We're gonna be playing some cannon fodder vinyl and we'll play some cannon fodder and it might be a little bit more of a chilled out stream. It'll be cool. Um, I'm gonna do something, uh, you know, that I'm not used to doing. I'm gonna raid someone who I don't really know, but he looks super cool. I'm just checking him out now. Um, his name is Handy Capable Sean. We'll raid Handy Capable Sean. Uh, it'll be a good way to start the year. Um, I wanna try something, folks. I wanna see if I can roll some, you know what? I'm gonna roll these credits first. I'm gonna roll these credits first. This is a new perk of, for, uh, for patrons. This is a perk right here. You did the clip, Jiro? Oh, dude, Jiro, you gotta post it in the Discord. Yeah, I know. We need a wife device chocolate bar in the club. You know it, Oram. Exactly. Great support all year for the indie gaming scene. Oh, thank you, Vector Funk. I appreciate that. Let's roll some credits here. There we go. Oh, I don't know why the frame rate is off. Oh, because I didn't preload it. Sorry, folks. I'm also, next stream I'll roll credits. Uh, can I, oh, let me see if I can, let's see if I do this. I want, I want to learn how to do this, folks. I'm just experimenting a little here. I'm experimenting a little bit here, folks. I'm learning. You, some of you might see your name in the credits in a minute here. Let me open up this. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to my Streamlabs. I just want, I want to see if this is possible, folks. Uh, I go to uh, all widgets. There we go. I'm gonna see if this works. All right, I'm gonna see if this. Let's see, can I do it now? Um, oh, I have, to, I have to go to the hot tub. All right, everyone, I'm gonna sign off. See, I can now. If I do the if I do the credit roll now, it'll be nice and smooth. I didn't preload it. That's the way it's supposed to look. <laughs> Venginator, I am. I'm Venginator. I am. I'm gonna raid him. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. It's been an absolute pleasure. And thank you all for your absolute incredible support. Do you guys, three great, three great weeks of streaming a bill. Nice, you need to rest now? Nice, Jiro, me too. SR Baker, thank you for hanging out. SR Baker, you are the James Bond of Club Amiga Bill. I mean, look at you down there. I mean, look, look at SR Baker. He's right, he's down there. That's SR, where is he? That's him right there. <laughs> the James Bond, I love it. Your Texas Foosballer, thank you for hanging out. All right, guys, we're taking us to the hot tub. We'll raid uh, Handy Capable Sean, and uh, yeah, have a, have a freaking awesome week, everybody. It was a pleasure hanging out with you all. Uh, oh, you're thanks for being thank you for being wonderful, Amiga Cami. Thank you for hanging out. All right, everyone, take care. Uh, have a great week, and I'll see you. I'll see you next Sunday for for a super fun one. Um, take care, everyone. We're taking us to the hot tub. Thanks for hanging out today. Peace out, Air Yuri. Take it away, my man. Thank you.